you imagine if I made you wait again? Nah, I'm not going to make you wait again. It's fine. Um, okay. I think that worked out correctly. Big brain, we've been transported. Let's go. Just popped you straight over. Yo, you can raid to yourself. Uh, they added raiding from Twitch, and now you can raid to yourself. That's crazy. And the game installed, so let's go. Got a really loud ad rip. Uh, not me. I have, manu I have manual ads turned on specifically so you don't get ads, so... Gamers, let's game. All right, I know almost nothing about this game, but fuck it, we ball. Hi, Raiders, wait a minute, it's us. Cool, okay, um, mailbox. Welcome to the Home Safety Hotline family. We are pleased to have you aboard as our brand new Home Safety Hotline responder, Roll. Your supervisor's name is Carol Regina. She will be calling you today to brief you on your duties and will be reviewing your work daily to ensure maximum accuracy. As a reminder, responders with a 90% accuracy rate or more will qualify to receive our daily employee coupons. Work hard and be rewarded with incredible savings. Notice video files on desktop. Attention call team. Due to an error with our archival network, some of you may notice video files from our video archive appearing on your desktop. Please disregard these. They will be cleared in due time. Oh, so we're not disregarding that. Got it. Options. Screen resolution looks fine. CRT filter for sure. Text size. Huge. No, text, text is... I'll make it bigger for stream, but it's fine. Color theme, default, sure, sure. Um, uh, phobia toggles. Oh, man. Chat, I'm going to be super real. I am going to click arachnophobia. If this is using real images, I, from, I do need to click arachnophobia. I'm very afraid of spiders. Television commercial dot MV. Stream chat is old. Oh, let me just refresh stream chat. That should fix the issue. Every year, thousands of families suffer injuries or even death from common household hazards, such as house fires, flooding, black mold, metamorphosis. Don't become a statistic. Call the Home Safety Hotline and keep your family safe. Not a ton, but there are two with spiders, I think. Well, I mean, it's if it gave me the option, I'm going to take the option. All right, let's get this, gamers. Hey, Cory, by welcome. <laughs> Portality, that was actually really funny. Clock. Oh, we should tweet that we swapped games, huh? Two games in one night? It's more likely than you think. Call now. Okay. We have tweeted, gamers. Clock in.
Actually, you know what I can do? Assuming this isn't going to be like Shipwreck 64 and like something cool is going to happen in the background, I'm just going to do one of these. Bada bing, bada boom. Look at that, chat. Oh, okay. This is probably our um our manager, right? Yeah, Welcome Carol. Welcome to Home Safety Hotline, new employee. My name is Carol, and I'll be acting as your supervisor during your time here at HSH. Before you begin your first day here, let me tell you a bit about how things work here. You are an HSH responder. As such, it is your job to learn about various household hazards so you can answer the questions of our callers intelligently. When a client calls, answer the call and listen carefully to their concerns. When you've diagnosed their issue, submit the corresponding household hazard and we'll forward them safety instructions to address their problem. Welcome to the HSH family. I'm sure we'll talk again soon. That's pretty, pretty good. Bed bugs. Gross. That's also a stink bug, I think. I could be wrong. Known for feeding on the blood of humans and other mammals, they tend to inhabit sleeping areas. Homeowners infested with bed bugs often report itchiness, sometimes a delayed onset of rashes. Not known to transmit any diseases and are relatively harmless to humans. However, they can often attract other pests that use them as a food source. God damn it. John here. My wife insisted I call this. Hi, number. John. It sounds like she thinks we might have some kind of infestation. My wife keeps telling me about specks of dirt or something in the kitchen. Just looks like coughing to me. I don't know. You tell me, I guess. I'm going to tell you from first-hand experience, that's roaches. That's roaches, baby. Because cockroaches have droppings similar to coffee grounds. I know this because when we moved into the place we were going to live, that was scattered throughout every fucking kitchen cabinet. That's just from my lived experience. We ended up not moving there. Carpenter ants. Oh, goddammit. Hi, I'm so sorry. My name is Grace, and it's probably nothing, but I thought I'd call just in case. Lately, I can't sleep at night because of this annoying Already give me flashbacks. from my attic. Uh, it sounds kind of like, e e e e you know, it, it's probably nothing. I'm sure it could just be regular old house noises, but I just thought I'd call to ask and make sure. E e e. Okay, so she's hearing a noise from her attic. Please hold. There's an audio sample for the carpenter ants. No. Gopher? Maybe a gopher. Ooh, gopher's a good pick for this. No, nah, what what picture is gonna be here for? Okay, cool. There just isn't one. Oh, maybe mice? Is there an audio sample for mice? Ooh, it could be mice, it could be gopher. Raccoon? Pretty sure it's black mold making that sound. Look, I'm clicking on all of them, okay? Termites, ticks. Okay, so I, my guess, I think the closest one was gopher. Because she said, like, eat, eat. Oh, what was my, my, mice again? It is in the I'm attic. Sure. You know, chat, I'll go. I'm going to go with chat. I think you guys are right. I think it's mice. But if it's gopher, I'm going to be mad. It's the rat mass. Well, we sent our info. How 
do we get to our desktop? I guess we get it in between nights or something. Attic Gophers are a sick band name. You're not wrong. I'm in her attic. Who we got? Hank here. Last week I called your Hi, guys Hank. about some crap in my yard. I was told wasn't anything to worry about. Well, guess what? There's more piles of crap in my yard. I'm talking huge piles of brown out there. You better not tell me it's nothing again, because I know I've seen something moving out there. Tell me what it is so I can take care of it once and for all. Okay. Please. So there are it. huge piles of shit in his yard. Um, is that go for... Well, let's check mole, maybe? Because, like, moles dig. Mo the burrows tend to look like volcano-shaped mounds. I mean, if there's huge piles of brown, I could totally see being a mole. Um, gopher. They damage gardens, but they don't seem to leave things like that. I'm going to say it's moles. Huge piles of brown. I'm saying that's a mole. Info sent to client. It didn't say... Uh, does, it, does info successfully sent to client mean we were right? Warning, never kill a mole. That seems very strange. Th this feels like a warning for something else. Uh, Twig Sigmund here. Just call I don't like Twig. I don't like Twig. <laughs> no, it just means you're done with that call. Got it. Tim. You guys have a lawn mowing service or something? My good for nothing kid refuses to mow and it's getting real crazy out there. Looking like a rainforest over here. My kid is complaining about being too sick to do anything about it. Meh, 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 meh. The stress of this stupid lawn's giving me a headache just thinking about it. Can you guys can you send some guys up to get this done? Please hold. Huh. So. He's sick, and he's got a headache. Does black mold give you a headache? This walls. I'm wondering if, like... Oh, you know what? Maybe tick. Because tall grass. Tall grass, latch on the host, and illness, fevers, headaches, chills. Okay, it's a tick. Got it. Got it. Got it. We're gamers. We are gaming chat. Got ticks, my guy. I can't mow your lawn for you, though. Your shift has ended. They're fake callers who repeat sentences. Interesting. Uh, please clock out. Clock out. 100% accuracy. We're so fucking smart. Any videos? No. Mailbox. Who quit before it's too late? You don't know me, but I used to have your job. You are in danger. Quit today before it's too late. You don't know enough. It's not too late to quit freely. Trust me. Okay, Mike3 at... A I wonder if there's a real email that we can email. Oh, we got a coupon. 
daily coupon for HSH bug spray. Keep bugs where they belong outside. Just one spray keeps insects at bay. Using a state-of-the-art chemical makeup, insects are repelled by the pet safe scent and will immediately seek the fresh air of the outdoors faster than you can shake a fly swatter at. Um, following code on your online checkout, buzz off. I need this in real life. I hate bugs. Four twenty-five ninety-six, possibly worth noting. All right, well, back to work. Don't forget to like the stream, friends. True cryptid. Too lit to quit. True. Oh my god, blast from the past. Anyone in my is anyone in my chat old enough to remember too legit to quit? That shit was like weirdly everywhere. Any new things? Nope. Let's just read about bees. Actually, let's put something cute on the screen. I'm an old man, so yes. Fair, fair. <laughs> Hi, Carol. Hey, Carol again, your supervisor. I'm calling to let you know that you have been granted access to additional household hazard information. Cool. Please be aware that this information is confidential and not to be shared with anyone outside of HSH. If you diagnose one of these hazards, we will be providing only information to the clients that is pertinent to addressing their concerns. Nothing more. Thank you. Understood. So we'll be like, so someone could be, so someone's gonna be like, hey, there's something weird in my house and I know that it's bed teeth you know that thing bed teeth and we don't say you've got bed teeth but we do say hey you should wash your sheets because something's growing there growing a small cone like safe on the underside of bed sheets but good. fucking bed teeth is really funny <laughs> Homer's uh, mild discomforts when sleeping more rarely slimy acidic residue on the skin bat oh Fun fact, bats were my favorite animal for a long time. Uh, I'm like, sorry, I'm uh, uh, calling to see if you might know about anything I can do to... <laughs> sorry. Uh, anything you can do to uh, prevent pollen from coming in the house? I think there's something seriously wrong with my ventilation or something, because I cannot stop sneezing. Uh, in the past, I haven't had problems so long as I've stayed inside, but I think something is getting in. Okay. Please hold. Bat. Oh, he's so cute. Bats are so fucking cute. Um. So, black mold says can cause sneezing, right? Allergic reactions or breathing problems. So, my first guess is black mold, but let's see what else it could be. Carbon monoxide. No. Cellular growth. No. What about the common hob? <laughs> He's so cute. Um, the desk hob. What a guy. False beat. They're creatures that look like beets. Interesting. The fracture hob. Frozen pipes. No. House fire. Probably not. Wait, pipe growth? He said ventilation. Oh, no. The pipe hob? The pipe hob. Look at him. A friend. The stair slug. Okay, so I I'm guessing it's mold. Because nothing else seemed to do that. The stair slug. What a guy. Large dog-sized slugs that are commonly known to occupy stairwells and basements. Homeowners infested with stair slugs commonly report slimy residue on their steps or other household inclines. Bees? Would it be bees? Yeah, bee if it was bees, they would get stung. Fuck. 
false beat is what I'm calling music I don't, I don't know like if from now on. Thing is how safe that clean. Like, maybe to disguise the robbery. This sounds like a hob. At night, I keep hearing all this noise coming from my living room, but when I go look at it, I find the place spotless. But this sounds like a hob. Missing, I've talked with the cops, but they keep telling me to call this number. So here I am. Is there something you can do? Her name is Hunnigan, which is a strange Steve name, Howell. I'm gonna be honest. Hold on, this this sounds like a hob to me. Common hob. They are small humanoid creatures with gray burlap-like skin and small vertical tufts of hair on their head. They have no false face. They are known for their tendency to consume dust, dirt, and commonly sticky substances found on floors and dishes, cleaning them in the process. They generally only come out at night. Not dangerous to humans on their own, if provoked, they're capable of mischievous acts and metamorphosis. Take measures to prevent provoking metamorphosis by leaving out a bowl of cream or milk at night. What a strange thing to tell somebody. Hey, these robbers keep, like, breaking in and cleaning my house. Oh, yeah, I've heard about that. Leave out a bowl of milk. What? Excuse me? I'm sorry? What do you mean? That's for sure a hob. What a friend. So we don't want it to metamorphosis. What does it metamorphize into? They are also capable of metamorphosing. Metamorphizing. So they get dangerous if they metamorphosis. Buzz Goober? Kind of a banger. What you gonna do? Bye, Buzz Goober. Yes, Master Far, this is a horror game. Because we have Rytoost, I'm probably only going to stream horror games on this channel. And I'll stream non-horror games on Rytoost. I... I don't know what's going on inside my house. I hear something crawling in the walls. I think I found teeth marks on my bedposts. I can't sleep at night knowing there's something in my house. Help me, please! This might just be Carpenter Ants. I'm going to be so real. Please, how old? This might just be Carpenter Ants. Faint rustling sound in their walls, and they build their nest. And, like, if there's teeth marks on her bedpost. Like, I'll check other stuff, but, like, that just sounds like Carpenter Ants. I'm going to be real. Because bed teeth, it would she would feel it, not her bedposts. You're right, there's no teeth marks mentioned for carpenter ants, but like bedposts are made out of wood. Raccoon, maybe? No, it's garbage spills. A pipe hop. People are saying mice, but I don't know. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Infestation gnaw marks, which would be the bedposts. Crawling in the wall sounds of squeaking. Not crawling, but I mean gnaw marks. Mouse could be. It could be mouse. Anything else? Termites? No. Okay, it's mice or it's carpenter ants. Mice have gnaw marks, but they don't have crawling noises. just sounds of squeaking. Carpenter ants... Infested 
rustling sound coming from the walls. But not gnaw marks. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna guess... I'm gonna guess mice for that gnaw mark thing. It could be carpenter ants, ants too. If we only got one thing wrong today, I think it's this one. This one could go either way. It's clearly bees. You're right. It was very obviously bees. That's my bad. Ugh. Teeth marks are specific to my Yeah, I think I think the teeth marks is what makes me think not ants. Yeah, hey, I'm calling about a noise I've been hearing in my house lately. Sounds like scratching or something. It's real quiet. So definitely some kind of pest in my walls. I've sent out all kinds of traps, but uh I thought one worked for a while, but then I started hearing it again this week. I thankfully haven't seen any visible damage or droppings or whatever. Please hold. So scratching in the wall, but no visible droppings. So not mice, because there's small round droppings. This might be carpenter ants. Faint rustling sound from the walls. Is it... Li Kind of like scratching. And there wouldn't be any droppings, they're ants. Just scrolling through our list here. Honestly? Uh, what's termites? No, termites is like squeaky floors and stuff. That's gotta be ants. King Pyrojack, that's gotta be the- yeah, that's gotta be Carpenter Ants. You know, guys don't like the sound of ants? Our friend, the Common Hob. So you leave breadcrumbs for a desk hob, a bowl of milk for a common hob. A slice of any kind of cheese for the fracture hob. Do you guys handle security? I need home security installed. Someone's breaking into my house and going through all my stuff at night. I know it's Bob from accounting. He's always been envious of me. I know what you're doing, Bob. Going through my papers, taunting me with your organization skills. I need your best home security equipment. Pronto! It sounds like a desk hob. Gotta be real. Please hold. Let's see. Inhabit desks of vanities and similar structures. Tidy their homes or frequently sort and order materials in the desk to their liking. Uh, they are similar to other hobs, but generally much smaller and have raspy, loose hair. Um, yeah, someone organizing his stuff. And Bob from accounting for like going through my papers. This is a desk hob. This is your classic, uh, yeah, this is uh, your classic desk hob. Uh, we see these pretty often. Just make sure to leave some breadcrumbs by your desk and Bob will stop going to your, uh, Bob will stop going to your desk. Don't worry about that. Just uh, leave out some breadcrumbs for me. That'll be fine. 100%, let's go. We're kind of gaming so hard right now. Ooh, hey, new video. But when is this from? Hold on. Four, eight. So this is from 1995. Remember when a one bed, two bath, full home 
that has a thousand square feet was less than a hundred k. God, our fucking housing market is, ter- is is our housing market is is absolutely fucked. Yo, a two bed, three bathroom, one hundred four. That's crazy. I also don't. I also don't remember. It's never been like this. A four bed, five bath, two story, two thousand square foot home, for a hundred and twenty. I'm not kidding. This house in our current market, four hundred grand at least. At least four hundred grand. Probably five. Pain, agony even. Agreed. Oh. A civil authority has issued a missing persons alert. Do I have to turn down the game? Because I feel like the the alerts are kind of loud. For the following counties. Bush County, Maple County, Parkway County, Barry County... Missing person alert. Authorities are currently. That do, that sounds like a cryptid. That is not a, a human being. Someone said call that number. Can we actually call numbers? There's a lot of different phone numbers here. We don't have like a phone. I don't think we can actually call that. We're in a bush. It's too late for you now. They gave you access to more info, didn't they? I warned you, if you end up like me, join me in this hole. They haven't found me yet. It's a safe it's safe here. This he's hiding there. <laughs> Our network team is migrating our backend service over to a new hosting provider this week, so you may experience some occasional network errors over the next few days. Please be sure you're studying your information entries carefully while you still have access in the case the network goes down while you're on the phone with a client. Oh god, so we have to memorize shit now. You'll still be expected to provide accurate answers to our callers regardless of the network status. Oh, we got a coupon for used horseshoes. Let's go. Um, they're reliable as they are rusty. Our code, a great deal for sure. Oh, for sure. I think a hob is emailing us. The five, 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 it doesn't work. No. I didn't mean call it in real life. I meant call, like, do we have a phone in this game? That's what I meant. Rusty Shackleford. We did call, Rusty. Um, I guess we'll let Carol hit us up. To say that we get more info or something. Or not. Oh, no, okay, cool. New entries. A boggart. 
General term for metamorphosized hob, or metamorphosed hob. Oh, so this is what hobs look like when they metamorphize. They are large, hairy humanoids between 6 to 7 feet tall and bear, and bear fairly convincing false faces. There's something in the basement. I've seen it. It's huge, almost as big as my dog. It doesn't hiss or growl or anything, but I haven't gotten close enough to it to find out what it is since it's always just lurking out of sight from the top of the stairs. I need someone to come get this thing out of my basement as soon as possible. I've locked the door since I can still hear the steps creaking under its weight down there. Okay. That sounds like a stair slug to me. Lurking just out of sight from the top of the stairs. But something as big as a dog who keeps creaking on the stairs. Causing household acts of flooding fires or electric out frequently observe their targets while they sleep. Extremely dangerous due to the malicious nightly household activity, which causes injury or death. React very violently when seen by humans. Do not refer to an active Bogart by any name. Once you become aware of its presence, vacate the premises. Provided you do not speak it at any time in any fashion, it will remain... So just, if you see one, leave. It, it's its house now. Um... But the stair slug, right? Dog, occupy stairwell, slimy residential steps, or other household inclines. So he didn't say slimy stuff, but he didn't say it. But, dog-sized slug on stairs. I'm saying it's a stair slug. Alright, wood secretions. Don't you hate it when your wood is secreting? Pink, viscous, liquid substance found from wood. Okay, so that's pretty easy to remember. Wine Sprite. Oh, look at that little guy. Subspecies of Sprite known for consuming wine. They are small, large-eyed, winged creatures with translucent skin that often appear in red wine. Often appears red while they're feeding. Long proboscis they use to drink. Homeowners infested with Wine Sprites commonly report broken glasses and wine having a rotten taste and smell. Hey, uh, I've been hearing some really weird noises coming from the bathroom faucet recently. I'm not sure what it could mean. It just makes this nasty sound anytime I run it. Along with this, uh, nasty smell. Okay. Please hold. Um, that sounds like it's going to be a drain hob. Hold on. Or a pipe hob. Home inside tube-like structures such as pipes. They bear no false face and are much similar, much smaller than most hobs. Commonly emerge from their home at night, consume any dirt grime hair. Mm, maybe not. It didn't mention, like, a weird noise. Maybe it's a pipe growth? Type of fungus makes its home inside damp tube-like structures. Often grow larger than pipes. Pipe growths are known to make loud bubbling digestion noises after they eat a full meal. Doesn't mention a smell. Hmm. False artifact. Human designed objects and manifest suddenly. Okay, no. Oh. False artifacts just eat kids. Good to know. I, I want to read the new stuff. Do, are we on a time limit? Or do we have as much time as we need? Because I want to read some of the new stuff. False rose bush. I mean, that seems... So it also eats things. Die consists of small mammals and they're fast and efficient hunters. I like the, like, feet. Oh, wait. This is the thing that ki they kidnapped that kid. Large plant-like creatures mostly commonly take the appearance of a red rose bush. It's a tall thing, looks like it's wearing a bush. It's two small humanoid feet. Lamp sprite. Here's a little guy. Homes inside lamp fixtures. Flicker or burn hotter, sometimes causing a burning smell. No time limit? Okay, cool. Memory wisp. Due to clerical error, the audio sample of Ride of Vub is incorrect. The issue will be corrected by the end of the month.
Interesting. Memory wisps are invisible and odorless household wisps, known for removing memories from the home and its homeowners. Often report missing pictures, photo albums, and the inability to remember the faces of loved ones. They're not a danger to the physical health of humans. However, their ability to affect human memory can sometimes lead to household accidents or reckless activity. Memory wisps will move out of the house on their own once they have stolen away the inhabitants' memories. There's no need for further action. They'll leave when they're done. It's fine. Mirror Nymph. Subspecies of nymph known for stealing the likeness of homeowners and passerbys. Generally small, faceless, and voiceless humanoids carrying a large mirror they beckon others to look into. Homeowners afflicted by mirror nymphs will commonly report not being able to recognize their own face. Mirror nymphs, although a nuisance, are not a direct danger to humans. Mirror nymphs will wander to different locations provided nobody looks into their mirror. Afflicted homeowners can restore their likeness by catching the mirror nymph and breaking its mirror with an iron implement. That's good to know. That that's more hopeful. So pipe growth... Known to attempt to eat anything that comes inside the domain, most commonly accidents occur when a human child attempts to reach their hand inside their home. Do not attempt to reach your hand to, into an active pipe growth home. They are otherwise harmless. Pipe hobs you leave a clipping of hair for. Tea Sprite. Tea Sprite subspecies of Sprite feed off tea. Tea leaf residue. Tea sprites are not directly dangerous to humans, but they are known to spread various deadly diseases, including the fatal fey flu, and should be removed as soon as possible. Tea sprites can be removed with various common household pesticides and traps, provided they are baited with tea leaves. To avoid future infestations, be sure to always clean teacups, kettles, and mugs after use. What about the toilet hob? He's out of his faucet, though. So probably not, but, you know. The bear falls face to separate clumps of wispy hair on each side of the head. Like most hobs, yeah, so hobs, like, clean, but he's saying a nasty smell, which doesn't sound like a hob. Frozen pipe. Common household hazard during the cold season, characterized by water inside pipe freezing, expanding, causing stoppages, cracks, and leaks. Frozen pipes may report strange faucet smells, banging and whistling sounds. Oh, <laughs> yeah, just a frozen pipe. Weird noises and a smell. Okay, so it's a frozen pipe. But let's finish reading. I wouldn't have even thought to check frozen pipe. Good call. Unicorn fungi. Oh, it's so cute. He's a little unicorn. Unicorn fungi are rare horn-shaped fungus that are known to grow in the heads of furry mammals and household pets. They often affect the animal's disposition, causing them to be drawn to the soil. Homeowners report often report their pets furiously digging around or inside the home. Unicorn fungi are not directly harmful to humans, but they can often lead to other household problems, such as broken floorboards, uprooted plants, or waking up other things beneath the soil. Uni unicorn fungi will go away after a few months on its own without treatment, but can also be treated with cryotherapy or removed surgically if removal needs, ex if removal needs expediting. To prevent unicorn fungi from developing, regularly bathe your pet, especially after any outdoor activities. Something about the line... Uh... Causing them to be drawn to the soil is really funny. Whistling fungi. Whistling fungi are small mushroom-like growths with many small holes in their caps that frequently grow through drywall gra through drywall gaps and cracks. Homeowners infested with whistling fungi often report a dissonant whistling sound coming from the walls. Creepy. Warning, if you ever hear whistling fungi singing in harmony, evacuate your home immediately. Whistling fungi are rarely dangerous to humans, but their growth can cause foundational problems. If whistling fungi ever sing in harmony, evacuate your home immediately and do not return for any reason. Otherwise, whistling fungi can be removed with common weed killers or by using HSA's fungal removing service. To prevent whistling fungi infestation, ensure there's no open cracks. Okay, so this was frozen pipes for sure. Let's read some of the ones we didn't get to, like, actually fully read. This is some really interesting, like, lore in these entries. So, wine sprite. Just clean. Wood secretions. 
Wood secretions can be deadly to humans, causing a rapid translation of flesh if ingested. Keep animals and human children away from the secretions at all costs, as its foul odor will be interpreted as a sweet candy-like smell to them, making them particularly susceptible to accidental ingestion. Ingestion. Please hold, Quaid. It sounds like you've encountered a memory wisp. Don't worry. It'll leave when it's done with you. Man, that's fucked. <laughs> that sucks. Hey, sorry, Quaid. I know you're having a terrible time. Um, You're going to continue doing having terrible time, and it'll leave when it's done with you. I can't help you. May God have mercy on your doomed soul. Jesus Christ. Oh, that was rough. Once started, wood secretions will continue indefinitely. To remove the hazard from a home, the offending wood should be replaced entirely. Don't ever insult, insult or shout at your wood, by the way. Hi, Fred Pinball. Fred Pinball's gonna grab us by the goober and smack us around till next Sunday. And something about smack you by grab you by the goober and smack you around is really funny to me. Uh to make sure to, to avoid wood secretions, don't ever insult or shout at wood. Hi Harvey. My sheets are growing nasty sharp things on them and my legs itch like crazy. Bad teeth. Bad teeth. Do I need to be bad teeth. More often or something. I usually shower like once a week for my skin health, so maybe that's it. All right, Harvey. You're disgusting. Hey, Harvey. Shower more than once a week, my guy. Um, what does a bogart sound like? Gross. Anyway. Oh. Well, I know what bed teeth are like. That's bed teeth for sure. <laughs> Stop playing Genshin Impact and go touch grass. Hey, Brutality, I play Genshin Impact and I shower every other day, I'll have you know. Get the boggart off your, off your screen now. Oh, I was going to be mean about it. Oh, we don't have... Uh oh Chat, we got to use our thinkers for this next one. We gotta use our brains. Skin health is important. Like, don't shower every single day. Like, that that's rough for your skin. A at least if you are moisturized, my god. But, once a week, Harvey? Hello? Hi, Wanda. I'm told to call this number to ask about my problem. The wall of my bedroom doesn't look right near the bottom. The bottom of the wall has some cracks or maybe it's peeling i'm not sure fracture hop i have a cat named whiskers and sometimes he likes to sharpen his claws at the couch but he would never do that to the wall he knows just how naughty that would be maybe a fracture hop because it's got cracks
I assume we don't get to check. Oh, wait, we get to check stuff again. Because, like, cracks and fractures in the walls of homes they inhabit. Like, maybe? Termites, you think? What's termites? I don't think it'd be termites. Termites would be, like, it said squeaky floorboards. Oh, peeling paint. Cracks or maybe it's peeling. That's not super helpful, girl. Wanda. <sighs> Near the bottom. The bottom of the wall has some cracks. Maybe it's peeling. I'm not sure. Hmm. I want to say it's a fracture because crack. And a fracture hob cracks and fractures in the walls of homes. They bear a false face, apparently. Mm, I'm going to say it's a fracture hob. It could be um, termites, but she. the problem is she gave us two hints. Yeah. Crack or it's peeling. Which one is it, Wanda? Uh, where are you? Fracture hob. Oh, not frozen pipes. Definitely not frozen pipes. Fracture hob. All right, Wanda, leave out a piece of cheese. False beat. I was trying to read about false beats. Do you think this is some kind of joke? Last week, I called you guys about some weird noises I had coming from my living room, and the info package you sent me said something about leaving out a bowl of cream? What kind of yeah. joke is that? It's no, did you listen? now that I've been dealing with this racket, no thanks to you, and now we're starting to have power outages. Joke is now probably going to cost me who knows how much in repair costs. So talk to your manager and tell them they owe me big time. You figure out what's going on in my house and you figure it out now. God damn, Gary. Did you leave out the bowl of cream? Kind of sounds like a you problem if I'm going to be real. So if it is a boggart, would that be power outages? Oh, electric outages. Yeah, it's just straight up a boggart. Hey, guess what, Gary? You didn't leave out a bowl of cream, so now you have to leave your home. Maybe next time you'll fucking listen to us. Enjoy having a new house, Gary. Eighty-three point three. All right, maybe it was termites. Um, cause I mean, I don't know everything else I felt really confident in, but fucking Wanda gave us two different answers. Oh, new video, Science Mysteries. Hands are so cold. The mystery of mice. Mice. One of humanity's oldest friends and oldest enemies. From the Black Plague to the shelves of our pet stores, mice have lived alongside humans for centuries. And just like humans, mice may even be evolving alongside us as well. This is a mus musculus. Otherwise, mus musculus? House mouse. What a name! I love mus musculus! And this is Mus Musculus Loquentis, 
otherwise known as the smart mouse. A the smart mouse? Species known for its uniquely colored iris, and more importantly, its increased intelligence. Mice have brains smaller than peanuts, and yet modern science has observed they are capable of thinking quite intelligently. He's and so smart. In the case of the smart mouse, perhaps even capable of communication. Oh, what a guy! With the help of modern Wait. technology, today's the the other guy, the other worker was a smart mouse. Indecipherable squeaks of a smart mouse, and have discovered what seems to be hidden messages within. Let's take a listen. Wait, so it's silly for you now. I warned you if you end up like me, join me in this hole. He's a smart Mike is a smart mouse. Mike three is a smart mouse. Oh no. We're excited to introduce you to a brand new office pet Whiskers. Whiskers is a loyal, friendly, and is as serious about pest control as we are. Please give Whiskers a warm welcome if you seem wander by your desk. Please refrain from picking up or feeding Whiskers, as he's still getting to know everyone in the office and has scheduled feeding times. Wait, Mike told us, Mike emailed, Mike, why would you email us where you're living and hiding on your company email, Mike? They gotta, Whiskers is gonna kill Mike. Damn it. Whiskers is for sure gonna kill Mike. The recommended treatment for mice in this is, like, get a cat. Right? Hold on. Pesticides introduce of a house cat to the household. They're trying to kill Mike! He's a smart mouse. He'll be okay. It's not the cat's fault. Don't blame the cat. Blame the company. The cat's doing its its due diligence and what cats do. Except my cats. My cats are too lazy to catch mice. Hi, Carol. Oh, Supervisor Carol here again. I've been watching the closely employee. The? I'm impressed so far by your dedication to accuracy. I have, I have been watching the? So Carol, what the fuck? Our eyes rest upon thee. Carol ain't human. Calling it now. Our eyes rest upon thee? Oh, hey, it's the attic gnome. Attic gnomes are a subspecies of gnome known to nest in attics and ceilings. Homeowners infested with attic gnomes will often report a knocking or rapping sound coming from their ceilings, or a surplus of dust coming out of their ventilation system. Attic gnomes' feeding habits can often be a boon, uh, be a boon to homeowners, as they consume dust, cobwebs, and household pets, such as pests, such as spiders in large quantities. However, when frightened, they will... I think there might be something wrong with her faucet. Recently, I've been having the worst kind of stomach bug, just aches and pains constantly. But after a month, still hasn't gone away, and I'm thinking there's got to be something wrong with the water, because we only eat fresh, homegrown fruits and vegetables here, and we ain't ever had oh. any problems up until now. False beat, maybe? False beat? He only eats homegrown fruits and vegetables? Maybe a Please false beat? Hold. Anyway. Attic gnomes can often be... Uh, feeding habits can be a boon to homeowners as they consume dust, cobwebs, and household pests such as spiders in large quantities. However, when frightened, they will violently expel their meals, which can send large quantities of dust particles into the air. 
causing air quality issues in the household. They are very easily frightened. To remove an attic gnome from the household, it is recommended to dust and clean your attics and ceilings regularly as to avoid giving it a source of food. This will also prevent other attic gnomes from nesting in your home. So I'm confused on this image. Is this like a hand reaching out? What does an attic gnome sound like? Cellar Grotto. Cellar grottos are large cave-like networks known to sometimes appear spontaneously in cellars and basements. Homeowners with cellar grottos will often report a bad smell coming from the basement, high humidity in the home, and a notable increase in large beetles, frogs, and related pests. So just a cave just spontaneously appears in your basement. That's kind of funny. Cellar grottos can introduce a, danger a number of dangerous pests into the home, and the heightened humidity can introduce can cause warped floorboards, weakened foundation, and other hazards. Settler grottos can be removed by finding their creator and presenting them with a gift of gold. Their creator often resides somewhere within the grotto's subterranean lake. For safety, bring spelunking and snorkeling equipment on your excursion, or consider utilizing HSH's grotto removal team. That's so funny. So it's just... <laughs> you have to find whoever put it there and give him some gold. The Fey Feast Feasts are mid-to-large piles of various edible food substances, frequently including flour, cornmeal, and various species of fungi. They are known to appear near eating areas of the home. Feasts are not dangerous if consumed, but if left untouched, they can provoke more dangerous activity, or else its continued presence can attract other household pests, such as cockroaches and carpenter ants. Feasts are a sign of a hospitable presence, and as such should be consumed immediately, once sighted, to prevent provoking or offending the gifter. For maximum assured safety, all members of the home should partake in the feast. That's terrible. So, these fairies just leave a pile of cornmeal and mushrooms on your table. And you better eat that whole fucking pile right now or it's gonna kick your ass. Fay flu. Oh, that doesn't look good. Fay flu is a rare and dangerous disease commonly spread by household fay. Symptoms of fey flu include headaches, fever, eye discoloration, seeds taking root in skin pores, and blooming. Fey flu is rarely fatal, but it can have long-lasting effects on the lifetime of health. I would argue that seems pretty fatal to me. Long-lasting effects on the lifetime health of an infected human. Long-term symptoms commonly include dizziness, fatigue, monocolored vision, deliriousness, and endless dreams. I would argue an endless dream is fatal. There's no cure for the Fey flu, however one can take precautions against it by keeping a clean, Fey-free home. Floor Roots Floor Roots Floor Roots are tree-like brown roots that are known to grow upwards from the floor to wrap themselves around various objects or humans in the vicinity. Oh, I see, like, this is, like, the roots that grow upwards. Floor roots grow slow enough that they serve very little danger to awake and aware human adults. However, if not sprouted quickly, they are a known strangling hazard for human children and pets while they sleep. Removal should be a priority in family households. It was Feijo and Junji Ito. Don't. God, Junji Ito is like a masterclass in just horrifying imagery. Floor roots require something to wrap around before they will cease their growth, so it is advised to acquire dolls or similar human-shaped facsimile to give them a safer alternative. Place the dolls in the affected room and leave the roots alone for the night. By morning, the dolls and roots should be gone, and the room safe to inhabit once more. Wait, so, so it's not that it's going to strangle the doll and kill it, it's that it will steal whatever it wrapped around. That's wild. While we're here, false beat. False beets are harmless until they are eaten, in which they take root in the human's stomach, feeding off its nutrients for its lifetime. Digestive issues and back problems. So yeah, false beet for sure. False beets only find themselves in gardens that grow beets. If you do not wish to contend with false beets, it is advised to avoid growing beets. A swallowed false beet cannot be removed without killing its host. It's bad news, Ash. You're just going to live like this now. The Horde. The Horde is an invisible, odorless, collective consciousness that is known to collect and store large quantities of common household refuse.
The hoard's tendency to store vast quantities of trash in the home make them prone to spreading disease to the home's inhabitants. Rotten food, used syringes, and rusty metal are among the more common household hazards that can be introduced by the hoard's presence. Once invited to a home, the hoard will continue to gather and hoard their treasures indefinitely. It is advised to sell one's home at first sight of the hoard's presence to make the relocation process go over more smoothly. To prevent the hoard from gathering in one's home, it is advised to keep one's home as tidy as possible, as to not attract the hoard's attention. The introduction of a hob to the household can often assist this process. So, okay, so if, you, if, if you're if you lazy and don't want to clean enough to not have this happen, just put a hob in the house and leave some milk out for them. A laundry gnome. I don't even see it. Laundry gnomes are a subspecies of gnome with thick, thick fiber-like fur. They can fold their bodies into various shapes and often resemble dirty towels. Oh, I guess this is it then? Homeowners with laundry gnomes often report loud rattling or banging sounds coming from their washing machine and missing socks. Laundry gnomes pose no direct threat to humans, though their lifestyles often lead to broken washing machines or dryers, which can occasionally cause small floods. Water damage can lead to further problems in a home, so, and as such, laundry gnomes should not be left to their own devices. Laundry gnomes will move on from a home if they're no longer permitted to enter a washing machine. Great care should be taken to inspect each and every piece of laundry before washing. The Night Gnome. Oh, look at this little guy. Night Gnomes are small hairy creatures with a pointed head. They are known for their tendency to enter sleeping quarters of humans to watch them while they sleep. Homeowners affected by Night Gnomes frequently report sighting them in the middle of the night, or report heavy breathing sounds during late hours. Night gnomes are not known to be deadly to humans, but those who suffer from heart conditions should consider wearing sleeping masks to prevent being startled by their presence. Night gnomes will move on to other homes if they become bored or restless by your inhabitants' sleeping activities. There is no guarantee, however, that they will become bored by you if they find your sleep sufficiently entertaining. So, so they'll leave if you sleep boringly enough. The Night Wisp Night wisps are a subspecies of wisps in the form of bright floating lights. They are known to hover outside windows at night and are whispering promises of wealth and good fortune. Night wisps are not dangerous to humans unless listened to. Refrain from listening to their whispers and following their directions. Night wisps will move on to other homes after a week or so if they are ignored consistently. It is advised to drown out their whispers with music or wear sleeping masks to prevent sleep disruption. Let's listen, shall we? Gross. Portal, I played that game. It's pretty good. <laughs> Portal 2 is like one of my favorites. Portals are door-shaped openings to an outdoor location other than the homeowners discovered... Other than the homeowners. Discovered most commonly in basements or underground cellars. Homeowners with portals frequently report cold drafts, strange dreams, and a strong desire to enter. Portals can int introduce a wide variety of dangerous elements to a home and should be dealt with as soon as they are discovered. They can, ad they can additionally cause drafts and introduce heating problems to a home. Portals should be sealed shut with wooden planks, bricks, or other common building materials. The sh seal should be airtight, as to not allow for anything to come inside the home. It is advised to use utilize HSH's home security services to ensure portals are sealed safely. Seed seedling Seedlings are small insectoid creatures about the side of an size of an aphid. They are known for burrowing in the outdoor planters or gardens, feeding off the roots of nearby weeds. Though their weed-killing lifestyles can make them useful for gardeners, seedlings are extremely territorial and react violently to anything competing for their food source. Never remove a weed from a seedling-infested garden. They are known to compel competitors to commit violent acts on themselves or others. Christ! To remove seedlings from a garden, one should not go near their infest established feeding grounds. Instead, one should use a hose, sprinkler, or similar range device to overwater and drown out the seedlings from afar. Toilet gnome, or sorry, the travel gnome, or a toilet hob and travel gnome at the same time. Travel gnomes are a highly invasive subspecies of gnome that are known to stow away inside the luggage of unsuspecting travelers to introduce themselves to new households. They are found most commonly in highly forested areas of the globe. Travel gnomes can affect the household in various ways. They will often create expansive gardens inside their new homes, leaving soil, plants, and common outdoor pests in their wake. These gardens, in addition to introducing a variety of dangerous pests, can also create the foundational problems in a home if they continue to grow unabated. 
Spraying pesticides and weed killer in the home can deter travel gnomes gardening prospects, at which point it will wait for a new opportunity to travel to a better location. To encourage a travel gnome to relocate, one can invite others to stay at their household and create new opportunities for the travel gnome to stow away in their visitor's luggage. <laughs> so if you have a travel gnome, just give it to somebody else. Okay, so this was false beat. We're pretty sure anyway. I still have to watch Skinner Rink too. I'm worried that my brain I'm worried that I'm like too ADHD to enjoy Skinner Rink cuz everything I've seen from Skinner Rink is very slow. Hello? It's fucking Wanda I again. Every instruction your people sent me, but I'm still getting cracks on my wall. Uh, my daughter is called pest control. She told me not to call you anymore for help. I'm sorry. Bye. Oh. I guess it was termates. <laughs> Sorry about that, Wanda. Interesting. So if you get things wrong, they call back later. Ooh, are there like other endings if we get specific things wrong? Hi, Felicia. The police told me. <laughs> I think somebody is stalking me. I can see their shadow at night at my window, just staring into the house. When I close the window, I can still hear him out there, breathing. I've been sleeping on the couch every night this past week, just so he won't see me. The police said they can't do anything, so please, send somebody or do something about this. I can hardly sleep anymore. The police said they can't do anything. Oh. I can't. <laughs> Grandma. Uh, yeah, that's a night gnome for sure. Uh, listen, Grandma, I got bad news for you. You want me to do something for you? The best I can do is uh, put on some, like, a night mask and just try to ignore him. If you sleep in a boring enough way, he'll give up. So just be... Stop being so entertaining when you're asleep, Grandma. I know it's hard for you because you're very naturally entertaining with a voice like that, but just try to be less entertaining. <laughs> Graham, Graham, take your meds. <laughs> True. This, what if I just start gaslighting them? Huh, that seems weird. You're probably making it up for attention. <laughs> Belinda? Is Belinda a real name? Banging noises coming from the ceiling, and the air quality seems to have been drastically reduced. My daughter hasn't been able to stop coughing. Belinda? I'm 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 not over Belinda. Please hold. Anyway, that sounds like an attic gnome, right? Because it was like, uh, there's awful banging noises coming from the ceiling. And ra knocking a rapping sound coming from the ceiling. Surplus of dust coming out of the ventilation. Air quality seems to be going down. That sounds like an attic gnome if I've ever heard one. Belinda is a real name? That's a terrible name. Sorry, shout out to my Belindas out there. <laughs> <laughs> Belinda is, is I'm sorry I can't not just say Belinda shout out to my Belindas <laughs> wait there's a Belinda in Cheetah Girls too. something about the letter B is just very funny to me <laughs> cause it's to me the issue that it's so funny to me it sounds like Melinda with a B and if you say any name but replace the first letter with B, it's just automatically funny to me. Please help me. The police refused to do anything. They told me to call you. Please say you can help. My, my little boy, Jeremy, has gone missing. He's eight years old and such a sweet heart. The last time I saw him was when I was tucking him into bed last night and checking his messy closet for bees to calm him down. Jeremy is always so 
There's so many things that can abduct children, May. May, you're going to need to give me more information. Please hold it. Oh, it's Spanish. Okay. Yeah, I've never heard of that before. Um, but yeah, exactly. Like in chat, it reminds me of like Bikel, Bedward, Barami. Like that's where my brain goes. There's so many things that can just abduct children. So he had a messy closet, right? He's afraid of bees, but bees don't abduct children, right? No. Messy closet is maybe our only hint here. Could it be roots? Right, floor roots. Floor roots are tree-like brown roots that are known to grow upwards from the floor to wrap themselves around various objects or humans in their vicinity. Like strangle hazard, but it said like it'll if the root if the roots are left alone for a night, by the morning they're just gone. So like maybe it's that. What else could false artifacts can abduct kids? Designed objects manifest suddenly inside a home. They are known for making a very gentle buzzing sound that can usually only be heard by very unhuman children or small animals. Homeowners with false artifacts often report out-of-place objects or missing children or pets. It could be a false artifact. Because he's got... Checking his messy closet, and he's just missing. Should a pet or loved one already be encased within, one can utilize a memory wisp to speed up the grieving process. <laughs> no! <laughs> so, okay, so it's... Once a false artifact has been identified, removal is as simple as physically removing the object. Just get it out of there. Removal surfaces should be called to remove it correctly. But if a pet or loved one is already encased within, one can utilize a memory wisp to speed up the grieving process. Just... Be... Just... Just forget about him. Ooh, Cryptid Sky, you're so right. Bees. He's always worried about buzzing and bees. Small buzzing sound. Oh, it's totally a false artifact. Okay, so my recommendation to you, ma'am. Um, your kid's gone. Try your best to forget about him. That sucks. <laughs> Just forget about that loved one. We have uh, memory wisps that'll make you forget a bunch of stuff and then leave. That's 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 like morbidly very funny. See, this is like a real example of like dark humor. I'll get into it after this call. and naturally afterwards found that there are several large cracks in the walls of the basement that were not previously disclosed, as well as several pieces of half-eaten cheese littered across the basement floor. I haven't been able to get in contact with the previous... Fracture hub. Fracture hub. Fracture hub. Hey, Leo, I got great news for you. Give him more cheese. <laughs> um... But yeah, this is what I, so, what I was saying, this is a good example, I think, of dark humor. So a lot of the time, you'll see this online, especially with, like, edgy teenagers, someone will be like, um, oh, I like dark humor, and then they'll just, like, say something racist or homophobic. And it's like, that's not dark humor, you're just a piece of shit. This is good dark humor. It is something dark, it is depressing, it is sad. But it is presented in such a matter-of-fact and, like, profoundly absurdist way that it just loops back around from being tragic to funny. This is good dark humor. This is actual good dark humor. Anyway, um, that's a fracture hob if I've ever heard of it. Leo, great news. Um, you're going to get more uh, cracks in your foundation. Don't know how to fix that for you. But on the bright side, you can just give him cheese. <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, what do you do? Cracks in foundation is like, that's a big issue. What do you actually do about that? You have to like cement over it. Because if there's a bunch of cracks in your foundation, that's actually like a really big problem. Oh, it's Gub Rubber. What's up, Gub Rubber? Flex Seal, you're so right. I don't got the pepper. I'm sorry, Gub Rubber. I've got orange drink and cheesy greaser. I don't have the pepper squeeze. I'm sorry, Gub Rubber. I I'm fresh out of pepper squeeze. I love Gub Rubber. <laughs> My bro, Gub Rubber. This is a really funny game. I'm going to be real. <laughs> like, it can get creepy at times and, like, unsettling. It's also really funny. Who's a cutie? Who's a cutie we can look at while we wait? Let's look at this little cutie, the common hob. That's weird. Why is their incoming call sound weird? Hey, Phil. So, my doctor told me I should call this number. I have no idea why he won't tell me anything. He said you could help, so here goes nothing. Why do doctors and police officers know about us? Oh, you got Fae Flu, my guy. I can't find anything online. Can you help me? Please hold. Phil, I see this all the time. You got Fae Flu. Um, off the top of my dome, I don't remember how to fix it. But I'm sure this uh, computer I use will fix it for you. That's Fae Flu for sure. Time to do a thing on the stream? Uh, I don't know. It's 12.30. It's, like, getting kind of late. Maybe another hour or so. I want my audio sample. Oh, boy. All right, we got to use our thinking brains here. All right, Kyle. All over my freaking house, man. Freaking holes. I'm stepping around big wooden splinters. There's no telling how much damage there is. I've got this big gaping one in my kitchen that I have no idea how freaking deep it goes. To top it all off, my skittish little greyhound goblin is nowhere to be found. She probably took off after seeing this mess. I need help. Bad. Please hold Okay, thank God that came back, because I'm like, I don't know what the fuck that is. Uh, there's no cure. Just c keep a clean home. Wait, there's no cure. You just have that now. Sorry, bud. You just have this now. So the doctor knew. The doctor totally was like, oh, I don't want to tell him. I'll let the weird phone people tell him. Okay, so there's holes all over. A wooden splinter and a gaping one in your kitchen. This is strange. Okay. Like when I see when I hear big gaping hole, I think portal. But that that would be like a door shaped opening. So not quite. I also kind of think of the cellar grotto. But that would be in the cellar, like. Spontaneously in cellars and basements. This is all over his house. It's not just Unicorn fungus? No. Maybe. Broken floorboards, uprooted plants, waking up other things beneath the soil. I mean, digging inside your home would cause a bunch of holes. And his dog is missing. 
Interesting. Yeah. I could see it being a unicorn fungus. He didn't say it smelled. There's just holes everywhere. Wooden splinters um, and a big gaping hole in the kitchen. And the fact that he doesn't know how deep it goes makes me think that that's where his dog is. Okay, yeah, you know what? Unicorn fungus seems like the way to go. Dog might not be gone, but the dog is definitely at the bottom of that hole. Yeah, a lot of these solutions are just, damn, that sucks. Later. <laughs> Shout out the name Goblin for a dog. That's a great dog name. Unicorn fungus nodders, yeah. All right, Jackie. Vacation and the house is already turning into a disaster not 24 hours later. And my living room is absolutely covered in soil and plants. Looks like a gosh darn nursery in there. What is happening? Is, is this what happens when you buy a bad rug or something? Please call Jackie. Jackie, I hear this all the time. What you've got is a travel gnome. Now, I need to recommend to you, put on some weed killer. Make it seem like it's a shitty place to have a garden. But if that doesn't work, great way to encourage it. Invite some friends over and make it their problem. That's a travel gnome, Jackie. I've seen this all the time. You brought it back with you. Yeah, invite that neighbor you hate over and be like, you know what? I want to make amends. How about you spend the night in my guest room? Uh, don't mind the living room garden. I'm trying something weird. <laughs> I I'm doing wacky gardening. Don't worry about it. Oh. What we got? What we got? What we got? What's up, Larry? basement door it smells like a damn sewer and i can hear it making all kinds of horrible noises it sounds like there might be a lot of water down there too i don't know what it might be doing down there yeah but I have a feeling it's causing a whole lot of damage please send somebody to help with this i can't deal with something like this please hold larry 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 you know you would know what this was if you weren't a coward. It seems, you know what? I'm going to break character for a second. Could you imagine being the type of person who goes, man, I opened my basement and it stinks down there. Can somebody come check it for me? Fucking plug your nose and look yourself. Anyway, Larry, Larry, Larry. You, my friend of a cellar grotto. I hope you've got gold on hand because you need to go spelunking on a little adventure and find the cellar grotto's creator. And he'll get rid of it for you. Who is he? Um. Uh. Have a good day. A hey, 100%. Let's go. We've only gotten one prompt wrong this entire go through. Do not come to the hole. Oh no. Okay, Mike's alive though. The hole is breached. I repeat, the hole is breached. It is not safe here. I must find a new spot. It knows I'm here. Whiskers found Mike, but Mike is still alive. That's all that matters. Scheduling changes regarding your schedule this week. Due to a shortage of available staff, we'll need you to come to work this Saturday and Sunday. Thanks for being a team player. Rest assured, your additional labors will be recognized. We got a coupon for Tamed River Root. Jesus Christ, that's expensive. Plucked and tamed straight from the waters within the undersoil. 
This river root is as reliable as they come. Their gentle high-frequency cries are guaranteed to keep your garden safe from all manner of pests and predators. Just don't forget to keep them well-watered and well-monitored. Rooting for you. That's wild. There's a whole lot of new shit there. <laughs> POV, you're the last prinkle in the tube. That's really funny. What if you have a weak stomach, Rye? Don't have a weak stomach. Fucking problem solved. <laughs> what the fuck is the undersoil? I think we're about to learn. You know, the unicorn fungus did say that you want to stop it so it doesn't wake anything underneath the soil or something like that. So I wonder if the unicorn fungus is something related to the undersoil. And maybe that's where that dude's dog went. Hi, Carol. Hello. Supervisor Carol here. Site accuracy continues to impress those of Why are you like this? The soil. I have updated your permissions once more. Keep up the great work, employee. Our eyes rest soundly upon me. Okay, so Carol is something underneath the soil, is what I'm getting. Animation. Oh, I hate that. Animations are any miniature humanoid figures such as dolls, puppets, or marionettes that are capable of moving on their own. Homeowners with animations most commonly report hearing clattering noises at night and missing or stolen household objects. There were Satan worshippers in my shed. <laughs> okay, Patrice. Haven't joined up with one of those dungeon dragon cult things these days because Hell yeah, brother. That's so funny. All right, let's learn. Let's let's leave Patrice on hold for a while. Animations are usually not directly dangerous to humans and will ignore them entirely as they go about their business. But their presence in a household may indicate the interest of other potentially dangerous parties. Most animations will depart or collapse on their own after completing their intended function. And no further action is needed. If an animation persists for more than a few days in a single location, it may be a sign of more dangerous activity. Interesting. So animations are something created. Animations aren't dangerous, but they are created by something that is dangerous. That's interesting. Oh, the Closet Labyrinth, a classic tale. Closet labyrinths are large, twisting networks of tunnels that are known to occasionally appear inside the closets or wardrobes of wealthy homeowners or left behind in homes once owned by the wealthy. Homeowners with closet labyrinths will often report missing clothes or the sounds of distant cries coming from the closet. Closet labyrinths are incredibly easy to get lost in by design and can prove especially hazardous to homeowners carrying valuable items such as gold, precious silk, or rare spices on their person. They are otherwise harmless to those who do not enter their domain. If a closet labyrinth is discovered, it is advised to lock or blockade the entrance to prevent accidental entry and diminish the lore of the labyrinth's hidden riches. If it is absolutely vital, a closet it is absolute if it is absolutely vital a closet labyrinth be removed from a home, it is advised to utilize HSH labyrinth removal team. A Dreamweaver. Ah, I see. I was like, why don't we get to see it? A Dreamweaver is a large spider-like creature known <laughs> to weave dreams into reality. You know what? Just for you, chat, let's take a peek. It's spider-like. It's not a spider. What's the worst that can happen? Okay, that's not terrible. It's webs. Dreamweavers are large spider-like creatures known to weave dreams into reality. They are also known to cause nearby humans to only dream about everything being covered in webs. They will only move into a household if no other spiders are present. But I always carry rare spices around. Dreamweavers are parasitic in nature and feed off the dreams of humans while they sleep. While this does not cause any direct harm to humans, it can lead to increased anxiety, and the large webs they weave can often, tra can often trap dust, pets, and children, causing further complications. 
To remove a Dreamweaver from a household, homeowners should refrain from sleeping for as long as possible in order to starve the creature and encourage it to find a new home. Dreamweavers will often attempt to induce sleep by ensnaring homeowners and injecting them with a sleep-inducing venom. Do not let them do this. <laughs> so if you don't dream for a while, it's going to try to make you sleep. Don't let it. <laughs> Just simply don't. Top left, right? No, I see it, but this isn't terrible. I, like, I'm fine with this. False flower. False flowers are long, slender creatures that resemble common house plants. They are known to take root in indoor potted plants, disguising themselves among the flowers. Homeowners often report hearing faint singing. False flowers are harmless if left to their own devices. However, if homeowners attempt to disrupt or remove them, they will often lash out by spraying a toxic chemical known to cause blindness or loss of sight. False flowers are not to be disturbed once they have taken root. Water regularly and try not to notice their presence. Ignore their singing. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Alright, let's listen. That's really funny. Why do you have to water them? To keep them fucking healthy. <laughs> it's so funny that like some of these are just like, oh, that's just a lifelong problem now. Have fun. A kobold. I know what kobolds are. That's not a kobold I've seen. Kobolds are five foot tall humanoid creatures with dog-like faces and are known to burrow into dark rooms or storage closets and make them their home. Homeowners infested with kobolds will sometimes report broken floorboards. Kobolds are harmless to humans until they are discovered, at which point they will often lash out violently to protect their home, causing injury or even death. If discovered, kobolds will attempt to lure humans into their space by poking their dog-like head out from behind a corner and whimpering. Do, ne do not ever enter a kobold's domain. One should not attempt to remove a kobold from their home. It is strongly advised to hire professionals. A Rain Nymph Rain nymphs are a subspecies of nymph that are most active during rainstorms. They are faint humanoids with a glow in their eyes that often appear near windows and doors asking to be let inside. Homeowners afflicted with rain nymphs often report flooding. The floods of rain nymphs can, cause, can lead to water damage, which can be both costly and dangerous to a home. Rain nymphs are very preventable in, their, in that their pleas to be let inside can simply be ignored. It is advised to stay away from doors and windows during rainstorms to avoid having to endure a random's various temptations and threats. Creepy. The soap sprite. Look at that little guy. Soap sprites are a subspecies of sprite that are known for consuming bacteria and harmful, mi and harmful microbes. They frequently occupy bathrooms, appearing similar to pink bars of soap, in order to feed off the hands that use them. They secrete suds-like substance that is used to digest their meals. Soap sprites, despite their bacteria-eating lifestyle, are frequently known to spread deadly diseases such as the fey flu to humans who handle them, making them a serious household hazard. Soap sprites are easy to remove and dispose by way of tongs or other grabbing utensils. Identifying soap sprites can be difficult, so it's recommended to not keep any bars of soap in the household to ensure they can be identified and removed as soon as possible. I use liquid hand soap. Fuck you, soap sprite. The sprig tree. Terrifying. Sprig trees are a rapidly growing tree-like organism that takes root in a human body. They are known to cause structural damage to a home as they continue to grow, generally reaching their full size in a matter of days. They are known to be caused by the touch of a spriggan. Sprig trees are incredibly deadly to those infected and will resort in death once they have reached a certain size. Anyone near a spring tree while it's growing in an indoor location is also at risk of injury or death from the structural damage that will occur as it grows. There is no cure for a sprig tree. The, tr the infected individual should be quarantined while any, other occupying the while any others occupying the household should vacate the premises immediately. Do not touch the infected person or the black substance that leaks from them under any circumstance. Begin looking for a new home and arrange any funeral service as needed for the affected individual. So this is Patrice. It's the sprig tree for sure. That's it. But I, I love that half of these are just, they're fucked. Uh, good luck on the grieving process. Sprig vines. 
Sprig vines are rapidly grown vines that are known to quickly consume a house and block off exits. They are often a sign that Spriggan has been provoked. Yo, the one house at the very end was covered in vines. I wonder if that's Sprig vines. Sprig vines are not dangerous on their own and can be cut through with common gardening tools. However, their tendency to block exits can create struggles when needing to exit the house in a hurry, such as in the case of floods, fires, or Spriggan in pursuit. Sprig vines will continue to grow so long as the Spriggan that made them desires it. It is advised to vacate and rehome as soon as possible. I have a feeling this entry in Accessible is going to be a Spriggan. Just, just a feeling. Trash Gnome. What a guy. Trash Gnomes are a subspecies of gnome with thick, brownish-gray fur, frog-like eyes, and large, gaping mouths. Uh, they are known to seek out trash receptacles and burrow inside them for both food and shelter. Homeowners with trash gnomes often report the smell of rotten eggs, finding large clumps of fur throughout the house, tipped garbage cans, and loud crunching sounds at night. Trash gnomes are highly territorial once homed. While their bite is not fatal, it can often lead to an inconvenient and painful circumstance, such as the loss of a finger or a nose, while attempting to discard trash or remove a trash bag from the receptacle. They are also capable of spreading deadly diseases to humans, such as rabies or tetanus. To prevent a trash gnome from homing inside your trash, it's recommended to not let trash in the home be idle for more than a day or two, as their noses are highly sensitive to the smell. To remove a trash gnome permanently, it's highly advised to utilize HSH's pest removal service. Something just, it'll cause a painful experience, like losing your finger. That's so funny. <laughs> womp womp. All right, Patrice, you got a sprig tree. Your son's dead. Good luck on the funeral process. Also, move away. Entries are so interesting to read. Just went insane by watching someone not read a single thing, <laughs> right? Like half of the half of this game is reading the very interesting and like fun lore of these uh, entries. Hey, I called last week about some noises in my house, and after following the instructions you sent me, they still seem to be happening. I already told you guys what was happening, but uh, the short story is that every night I'm hearing clattering noises coming from the kitchen. In the morning, I usually check the kitchen for any signs of droppings or whatever, but the place looks spotless. Can you please tell me what's actually happening so I can get some sleep? So there's clattering noises in the kitchen, and it's spotless. It sounds like we got a hob on our hands. Do we have kitchen hob? Because if it's spotless, like that sounds like a hob to me. Can ho common hobs be in the kitchen? Floors and dishes come out at night. It sounds like it might just be a common hob. Every night you hear clattering noises. It's clean. Like, it sounds like it's just, it sounds like it's just a common hob. I'm just going for a common hob. Leave out your bowl of milk. Trust me, you don't want to know what happens if you don't. Leave a bowl of milk out every night and you'll be fine. Bad news, it is there to stay, though. You cannot get rid of it. Imagine the customer on call hearing you read all this fantastic group. No, that's not it. Part of me, like, now, in canon, that's not happening because we can't. But imagine, like, you call, like, a regular like service line you're like yeah I've got a leaky faucet can you come fix that and the dude on the other end is like it's probably not a sink I goblin <laughs> purchased from your company one of your home security installation services and not a week later I'm still getting break-ins as I mentioned prior someone has been breaking into the greenhouse and taunting us with their singing they could be some insane serial killer for all we know all they do is sing at night Ah, uh, Pamela, Pamela, Pamela. Please hold. That's because you're not having an intruder. The intruder's already there. You, my friend, have a false flower. So it's something, it's already in there. You can't get rid of it, and it's just going to sing at you. If you try to get rid of it, you're going to go blind. So just listen, just water it, 
and leave it be. It's not worth it. It's already in the greenhouse, which is great. Let it stay in the greenhouse. Trust me. Yeah, you got a house elf. Don't forget. If you have a common hob in your household, realistically, as long as you leave out milk, you have a better household now. Like, you have this little hobgoblin guy go running around your house cleaning shit at night for you. And all you have to do is feed it milk, and then you get to stay in your house. And if you forget to feed it milk, you have to move out immediately. Right? Like, it's not even in the house. Exactly. You're fine. Hey, What's up, Flipper? I got two dumbbells that I bought from you that need a good spit shine. Know what I mean? I mean, these bells have got all kinds of grit, grime, grease. Can't even see my face when I'm, when I'm deadlifting. Know what I mean? I mean, I'm looking at these bells right now here. I'm seeing the uh, spit crud and juice. Interesting. So these fake calls are coming from people, from something, calling from a real number in somebody's house. Interesting. And then it ends with squeaking. I wonder if smart mice aren't evolved mice, but instead people that were turned into mice from whatever is making these fake calls. Because the smart mouse said, help me. Hmm. Interesting. That's some lore shit right there. If something can turn you into a mouse, I think we have an idea here. Hello. Oh, hey, Carol. Never mind, new theory. Carol can turn you into a mouse. The false caller wasn't the one making the So, okay, it wasn't that somebody was in someone's house and then, like, the person came home and they turned that person into a mouse. False caller is just a prank caller making a disruptive prank call. Carol enters their house and they drop the act and they're like, hey, what are you doing in my house? And Carol turned them into a mouse. Whatever Carol is, lives in the undersoil, and can turn you into a mouse. And that's why our previous employee was turned into a mouse. Because whatever he did pissed off Carol. Carol might be Faye. Something flied in through the window, and now you smell something burning. It's not, it's not just a house fly, is it? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, we might just get this one wrong. Okay. Let's think. Let's think. Something came in through a window, and now he smells burning. This does not sound familiar to me. Wait, Lamp Sprite. Lamp Sprite. Because Lamp Sprite's 
um, th it's like a little fucking thing that looks kind of like a bug, and they report flickering lights or burning smells. It's a lamp sprite, gotta be. What did Mike do to get turned into a mouse? I think we're going to find out, or we're going to try to do it too. I feel like that's where the plot of this game is going. Hey, Albert. Oh, that's some floor roots for you. Let's reread lamps right real quick. Make their homes inside lamp fixtures. Known for causing lamps they inhabit to flicker or burn hotter. Sometimes causing a burning smell in the home. Let's go. Lamp sprites are not dangerous to humans unless provoked. Do not, under any circumstances, turn off the lamp or attempt to reach your hand inside the lamp when actively inhabited. Lamp sprites will leave on their own once the lamp of choice goes out on its own. At this point, they will attempt to seek out a new lamp. To prevent a lamp sprite from rehoming itself, ensure all household lamps are turned off until the expiration period. When the lamp sprite fails to find an active lamp, it'll leave. All right, fair enough. Just wait till it goes away. So, uh, listen there, Albert. You've got what I like to call floor roots. Now, I'm going to be real real with you, Albert. They grow upwards, wrap themselves around a human or object, and then go under the floor. They're slow as shit, Albert. How long were you sitting there watching these floor roots grow up out of the ground and wrap around your daughter? Until And then you waited to see what would happen, Albert? Albert, I'm going to be real. I think you're just a bad parent. This one's on you. Anyway, uh, tell me how the funeral goes. She's gone. You know, it's interesting. Um, there's a lot, like a lot of these that relate to bringing things into the ground, right? The cave grotto, the unicorn fungus, the floor root, like a lot of stuff relates with going in the dirt. So it's got to be important. Yo, great voice actress, by the way. Um, Helen, I've got great news. You are one of the few callers who can actually fix your predicament. All you have to do is find that thing with the mirror and break that mirror with an iron implement. And you can get your face back. Uh, this is like... <laughs> I know it sounds like a lot, uh, Helen. Uh, but I assure you, you are one of the lucky ones. This is possibly the easiest thing to solve. Uh, I could have... <laughs> several things on my list just say, well, sucks. This one actually has a solution. Good luck, Helen. I mean, you do have to find this nymph. I like that it says, although a nuisance are not a direct danger to humans, which, like, the idea that it stole your face and identity and not being able to recognize yourself is just a nuisance. I think some homeless or druggies might be in my house because I keep finding used needles, cans, metal scrap, and other such nasty things on my living room carpet. I have children in this house, and this is a very serious hazard to their health. And before you say anything, yes, I already called the police, and they told me to call this number instead. So I assume that you will send over the proper authorities to deal with this matter promptly. Well, Ramona, Ramona, Ramona. 
Now, listen. Ramona, have you heard of the Horde? The Horde happens when you don't clean your home and keep it tidy. Now, I'm glad that you've found it, and you can get rid of it. Just, you know, introduce a hob to the household or clean your fucking house once in a while. But this is a danger, but it's not homeless or druggies as you so flippantly and judgmentally say. It's your own poor cleaning that caused this, so why don't you get off your high horse, Ramona, and clean your damn house? So my doctor says it'll cause some discomfort and then it hurts like hell. Yeah, right? What's up, Maple? Yeah, some kind That's of a fun name. We haven't gotten any sleep thanks to some punks outside with flashlights or something. Someone keeps flashing these bright lights. Oh, that's a, I know what night, that is. But I haven't been able to see who's doing it. I want to catch them on camera so I can finally bust these stupid teens for all they're worth. Please hold. What is a, where are you? It's like a night wisp? Yeah. Well, Maple, I've got bad news. No camera is going to help you with this one. Uh, but they are going to be luring you. Maple, what I need you to do is shut the fuck up and deal with it, because they'll go away after like a week. So play some music, put on some night masks or something. It'll, it'll leave on its own. Teens for all they're worth, so like $10. Yeah, right? All right, Delta Rosie, have a good night. Oh, it's getting pretty late for me, too. But, like, it's Thursday. Well, I guess Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we're about halfway through the... I guess we can call it after tonight. And then do Friday, Saturday, Sunday on a second stream. Hey, Patty, don't do that, actually. You've got a portal. Instead of going through it, how about you uh, brick it up wherever it is and, like, board that shit shut? Because if you go through that, you're not coming back, Patty. Actually, it doesn't necessarily say you don't come back, right? A strong desire to enter. Dealt with the drafts, introduce heating problems. Like, it doesn't necessarily say it's dangerous to enter it. Like, you realistically just, like, go back in. This might, like, sound strange, but I think there's some kind of, like, squid or something in my bathroom. Like, I went into the bathroom in the middle of the night last night, you know, and I could see something slithering under near the sink. In this universe, I wouldn't like, fare. I know it's somewhere. Like, it's too freaking big to have gone down the drain. Still gotta be hiding in here. Mm hmm. Okay. Something with, like, little tendrils or tentacles or something. Please well, hold. it's in the bathroom. So immediately, like, maybe a toilet hob? Bare faces. But it, she would have said clean. Ooh, soap sprite, maybe. They've got little tendrils. Hmm. Squid or something in your bathroom. Bathroom in the middle of the night. See something slithering near the sink. Wouldn't be a pipe hob, would it? Because they, like, live in the pipe. Hmm. 
Yeah, Jules seems cool. I'd hang out with Jules. I'm thinking it might be a soap sprite. Because, like, it's got these weird little tentacles. But why would it be hiding? Did she say... Under, like, the soap thing and everything? Did she say she has, like, bars of soap? Under the soap thing, it might be a soap sprite. Because she's like, oh, it's not my bar of soap that I have right here. I think it might be a soap sprite. Well, do they move? I'm going to go for soap sprite. It might be wrong, but I'm not sure what else it could be. Because it wouldn't be a hob. Let's go. Accuracy 100%. Let's go. Love to see it. Oh, Thunder Peak. Let's read our mail first. Oh, Mike. Email by this address for employees are registered, no longer employed here. As of 4.30, the address will be shut down, no longer be able to receive messages. But I want to talk to Mike. Hag hide. Gross. Also very expensive. Sourced cruelty-free from the perished and treated with our flower-scented formula, these are the best quality hag hides you'll find. This month only, we'll even throw in an iron wall mount free of charge. Let the whispers keep your bed the safe haven it should be. Sleep easier, sleep safer. Haggling for deals. Why would hag whispers keep my bed safe? Wait, it's Carol's face? No, it isn't. It doesn't look anything like her. It's getting closer. Wait, has this been moving closer the whole time? I've never noticed this until now. Is this getting closer to us? That's so fucking cool. All right, let's see what Thunder Peak is. Chat, Mike might not be dead yet. His email address is getting shut off, but he might not be dead. Thunder Peak is one of America's most dangerous, yet rewarding hiking locations. In this guide, we'll show you how you can be the best prepared for one of nature's most beautiful trails. Supplies. Can confirm it's getting closer? That's so cool. As with any hiking trail, you'll want to ensure you come prepared with supplies to help you meet the demanding physical trials ahead. Make sure to bring hiking boots. A water bottle. An iron sword. Fuck yeah. I mean, to be fair, if you see a mirror nymph, best to catch it while you're there. Climbing gloves. If you don't have access to all these materials, be sure to consult one of the Thunder Peak Park guides before embarking. I have not hint. It looks very fun, though. The trail. Thunder Peak is a straightforward but steep trail, consisting mostly of switchbacks leading through a natural cave and finally a short climb up to its pristine peak. Pace yourself as you progress. 
This both conserves energy and helps you appreciate the scenery around you. This does look very pretty. Be sure to stop and read the info signs littered along the trails. When you see red and yellow lines, it means you are in a high rockfall area. Travel with caution. We will be going back to read what that sign said. Once you've entered the quiet zone, remain completely silent. As you approach the cave entrance, remove your hiking boots. Enter the cave. Oh, this is fucking cool. When inside the cave, move carefully and quietly. Do not stop. Follow the lights. Do not stray. If you hear this sound, stay still and unsheathe your sword. Once you exit the cave, put on your boots and gloves for the final climb to the peak. You made it. Now enjoy the view. We all got swords, right? Yeah. Sword. I've got a sword. Well, I've got a real sword somewhere. Right has a sword question mark. I have several swords, but they're in storage because like I don't need them on me right now. Um, I've got like five or six swords. But I do have this practice sword that's right next to my desk. Um, it's weighted to be the weight of a real sword, and it's good to like practice swinging and whatnot. It's very fun. I have two because me and a friend like to like sword fight with them. Um, the one sword that I have, like, in this basement somewhere is a uh, replica master sword. Anyway. Let's read that sign. What's behind the rocks? Since the early 1900s, the something cave system have been a favorite place for people to visit. As a result, the caves have been equipped with electrical... Electrically... Electricity and made accessible for guided tours. Okay, so it doesn't seem like it says anything. I I am ready for the cave. Oh, if today is Saturday, I guess we'll just finish the game tonight. I thought I thought we were on Thursday. We just finished Friday, so we only have two days left. We'll just finish it. Let's clock in. I don't... It's weird that I don't know where the sword is. 
We only have a few entries left. Like six or seven entries left. Maybe like eight. No idea which one to get. Fair. Every time I go to the Ren Fair, I'm tempted to get another sword. I just really like them. They're cool. Hello, totally human Carol. Park employee, lend thine ear once more. Speaking Supervisor of the fucking Carol Ren Fair. Again, I've updated thy permissions to grant thee access to all relevant household hazard information. Continue thy labors, employee. Soon thy time in the soil arriveth. Prepare thy body. We're gonna be put in the soil by Carol? I don't want to be put in the soil. Autumn vines. Autumn vines are vines with orange or red leaves that are known to slowly grow over a house, frequently occurring during the fall. Homeowners with autumn vines often report feeling dizzy, lightheaded, or blissful. Hi, Brittany. Oh, I know what that is. I know what that is, Brittany, but you're going to be put on hold because I have to read fun text. The pheromones autumn vines release in the air, while not toxic, can often cause household accidents thanks to their blissful, dizzying effects. To remove autumn vines from a household, locate where the initial growth is coming from by inspecting the soil around the home for an extended red parent vine. Pull this vine out by the roots and burn it. Prevent autumn vine growth by making regular offerings of insects or meat substance to the ones beneath the soil. What is beneath the soil? Prevent autumn vines by offering... Making offerings to the ones beneath the soil. The bed hag. Fuck that. Bed hags are large humanoid creatures with elderly, woman-like appearance. They are known to dwell beneath beds, hammocks, and other suspended sleeping apparatus. Homeowners infested with bed hags will sometimes report croaking or wheezing sounds at night, or the feeling of a heavy weight on their chest at night. Bed hags are not dangerous to most healthy human adults, but small children and humans suffering from breathing problems, such as asthma, may be adversely affected by their presence. Bed hags are known to steal the breath of their sleeping subjects at night causing a shortness of breath and sometimes sleep paralysis. Bed hags can, in fact, be beneficial to a home, as their presence can frighten off other pests such as various insects or mice. In the cases where a bed hag is undesirable, it is advised to utilize pest, pest removal service. Gross. So... They're not, they're, they're often not terrible. Careful I didn't turn arachnophobia back on. True. I guess I'll turn it off. Uh, I'll turn it back on. Um, and I'll, I'll judge by, um, description if I want to leave it on. Dorka. Dorka is the one who delivers. Homeowners experiencing Dorka commonly report feelings of immense dread and the sensation of being followed or pursued. They may also experience visions of a great lurking shadow. I guess this thing. Dorka will deliver that which it seeks. There is no coming back from deliverance. Dorka is otherwise harmless to humans it does not seek. To be sought by Dorka is to be found by Dorka. If you or a loved one are sought by Dorka, it is advised to grieve and find peace through acceptance. Okay, so once again, another entry that's just, hey, you're fucked. Uh, good luck. Oh, a leprechaun. Oh, I hate that. Leprechauns are small humanoids covered in long brown hair that are known for consuming common household valuables, such as jewelry, silver, and other precious metals. In addition to being a household nuisance, leprechauns' appetite for precious metals can also cause long-term damage to heaters, furnaces, and other common appliances if they're not properly protected. Additionally, Leprechauns can also cause direct harm to humans in cases where homeowners have metallic medical implants, such as braces, crowns, or joint replacements. Leprechauns will move on to other feeding grounds on 
The leprechauns will move onto other feeding grounds on their own once they have run out of food, but more proactive means of removal require physical capture. If immediate removal is desired, it's recommended to utilize professional help. Neighbor's Doorway Neighbor's doorways are doorframe-like structures that can often appear in basements or cellars. They're known to cause confusion if stepped through, as well as parallelism. Neighbor's doorways do not cause any direct harm to humans, but if stepped through, the resulting parallelism will often result in unwanted household activity, such as altered behavior or perceived missing memories in the human who comes through the other side. Neighbor's doorways are tricky to remove without accidentally putting one's body through them and potentially triggering the parallel activity. It is advised to utilize HSH's doorway removal service. One can prevent neighborhood doorways or neighbor's doorways from occurring by practicing mindfulness and not letting one's mind wander towards wishing for alternate life paths. Apuka. Why is the dog standing? Pukas are shapeless creatures that commonly inhabit homes in the shape and likeness of a household pet. They're known for their tendency to replace common pets such as dogs or cats and live in their place to watch homeowners eat and sleep. Homeowners with pukas frequently report unusual or frightening pet behavior. Pukas are relatively harmless to humans, but the discarded bodies of household pets they leave behind can over time create other pests and disease hazards within the home. A foul, smelling, a smel a foul smell signifies decay, and the discarded body should be found and removed immediately. Pukas can be discouraged to leave a home by not drawing attention to their activities. Pukas thrive on the attention they receive from frightened homeowners, so refrain from screaming or yelling while being surprised by them, and make attempts to ignore their presence whenever possible. What the dog doing? <laughs> what the dog doing for real? So it won't hurt you, but it will kill your pets. Reanimation. That's just a skeleton. And that's just a skeleton. Reanimations are any deceased re remains of living creatures capable of moving on their own. Homeowners with reanimations commonly report foul smells, soil being tracked inside the home, and large holes in the ground appearing near or around the home. Reanimations are capable of spreading a wide variety of dangerous diseases and parasites deadly to humans, so close proximity or contact should be avoided at all costs. They're also commonly used to inflict direct violence against homeowners and are incredibly adept at hiding and waiting for vulnerable moments. They are also commonly used to inflict direct violence against homeowners. Once again, we have creatures that are made by something else. Animations and reanimations are something made by something else. We haven't yet found out what it's being made by. Possibly the ones in the soil. So, reanimation's pursuit is slow but relentless, so relocation is not necessary or advisable. It's advised to contact any friends, neighbors, or strangers the homeowner may have recently slighted and make a peace or bargain. So yeah, again, like, somebody made this to fight you. What'd I tell you, chat? Sprig vines? Sprig tree? Right above it, the spriggin'. I don't see it. Oh, is it in the window? Spriggans are small green humanoids with leaf-like coatings on their bodies. They are seen rarely in households and reside primarily inside trees. They are known to act violently upon homeowners when provoked. However, homeowners of er, however, homeowners affected by spriggans commonly report rapid vine growth in and around their homes and the feeling that the trees are watching them. Spriggans are incredibly dangerous to humans when provoked, and physical contact with one will result in the growth of a sprig tree within the affected individual. Spriggans cannot be persuaded to leave the home once provoked. However, one can take precautions to prevent provoking a spriggan. Refrain from removing trees, flowers, or weeds on your property. Do not ever kill or hunt wildlife within view of your home. Do not eat any wild fruit or vegetable that may grow on your property. Considering making offers of water each night left in a clean dish on your porch. Troll! <laughs> what a little guy! 
Trolls are giant. What? Oh, I guess we're on the second floor. Trolls are giant, 12-foot-tall nocturnal creatures that are normally not seen in the home. However, during the winter, they will deflate their bodies. Oh! Oh, so he's huge, but he deflated his body to fit inside homes and steal warm materials such as blankets or articles of clothing. Homeowners infested with a troll will frequently report missing clothes or claim to, he or claim to hear the shrill sounds of air escaping in the middle of the night. Trolls are very dangerous to humans when they are startled, thanks to their ability to inflate their bodies to the full height of 12 feet in a matter of seconds. Their skin, despite its flexibility, is incredibly durable and will smash through the ceilings of most homes when fully inflated, causing property damage and injury to anyone in the vicinity. Do not ever approach a troll. An active troll will leave by morning once it's secured its bounty. It's recommended to install repelling fixtures, such as UV lights, to prevent future break-ins. Yeah, just, so just let it take your blankets. And finally, a warlock remnant. What? Oh. Warlock remnants are residual presents often left behind by former warlocks, most commonly inhabiting older households, castles, or underground dwellings. Homeowners experiencing warlock remnants often- also, remnant? Had to. Warlock remnants often report objects moving on their own, the sound of hostile warning whispers, or sighting bearded figures in reflective surfaces. Warlock remnants, while a hostile presence, are mere echoes of their former selves, and are generally harmless. Their ability to manipulate small household objects can prove hazardous to, be le to less cautious homeowners, however. Homeowners can purge the remnant from their home with the use of a Sealy Stone, but the journey to retrieve one is both long and perilous, and is not recommended. If a warlock remnant proves sufficiently hazardous or inconvenient, it's highly recommended for homeowners to simply relocate. So, I wonder... Now, that's it. Once again, there are beings not on our list. First and foremost, Warlocks. Warlock Remnant is on our list. Warlocks aren't. So, again... Would animations and reanimations be done by a Warlock? Anyway, let's give Brittany her, uh... Wine Sprite. Now, Brittany, uh, what you have there is a Wine Sprite. It's gonna be eating your wine. Uh, just kill it with, like, a pesticide or a trap. It'll go off on its own. And try to clean your fucking wine cellar next time. Think the computer's full of nonsense. Sealy stones are everywhere in Genshin. True. Carol is a warlock? I could see that. So, uh, I, I think something may have died inside my desk. It stings to high heavens, and something is leaking out of it. Ooh, this I is leaking wood. I to my office since my kids are overly curious about the smell, so I need to know what to do about this as soon as possible. Ruth, I know exactly what your problem is. You, my Ooh, friend, have oh. some wood secretions. Uh, it's a pink viscous liquid. It's gonna stink to you, but smell like candy to children. However, don't let them eat it. It will translate their flesh. That's interesting. Causing a translation of flesh. What does that mean? Does it turn you into wood? Regardless, Ruth, it's just gonna keep happening. What you have to do is just remove the wood entirely. And hey, next time, take better care of your wooden appliances and do not shout or insult them. This game just wants people to clean. Yeah, like 80% of these can be prevented by cleaning your fucking house. <laughs> Ugh, I'm getting kind of hungry. Probably have to eat before bed. I know you're not supposed to eat this late at night because it's not great for your like metabolism, but I'm hungry. Hey, Howard. I think there's someone watching me. Outside, something is moving around in the trees, and I can never get a good look at them, but 
I know they're out there. I've seen their eyes. I don't know who they are, but the police were no help. They just asked me stupid questions like if I mowed my lawn recently or if I ate fruit in public or something and told me to call you. Hoping you'll be more helpful. Taking you all to Taco Bell with me. Who wants what? Please Cryptid. One of the best fast food foods. Nay, one of the best foods is the Taco Bell breakfast crunch wrap. I don't know what kind of fucking cocaine they put in that thing, but I cannot stop eating them. Anyway, Howard, you are in danger. This is a spriggan, and it's going to be at your house pretty much forever. Don't provoke it. It will kill you on, on contact. So just try to avoid being in outside and hurting nature and consider putting some water on your porch. It might fix your problem. Uh, but otherwise, best of luck to you. Yeah, it's definitely a Spurgo. Why do the police know about all this NDA stuff? That's what I'm thinking. The police and doctors sent, te like, seem to know. Of I don't think they know what it is, but I think what they do know is a bunch of weird shit happens, and do the doctors and police are contacted, and they don't know how to fix it, but they know that when people call this number, it gets fixed. What's up, Jay? My mother told me to call this number, but I don't know why. Things oh. have never been better. British right derogatory. My brother says he doesn't like the way the leaves move. The way they grow around the house like a warm embrace. Autumn vines. Things are good here, brother. Things are good. Would you tell my brother that things are good? Jay, can I speak to your brother for a moment? Hi, uh, my name is Riley. Jay, or sorry, uh, your your sister Jay, she's gone fucking crazy. Would you have our autumn vines? So they will cause this weird, lightheaded, blissful feeling, and you need to get rid of them. So the easiest way to do it, lucky for you, one of the very few things that you can actually do yourself. Simply locate where the initial growth is, remove it, and burn it. And in the future... Make sure to re leave regular offerings of insects or meat substance to the ones beneath the soil. That way you can avoid this in the future. Also, try not being British. I want to talk about breakfast so bad now. But it's like 1.30 in the morning. <laughs> Yeah, clean your house, leave out food, someone's gonna die, and have a memory sprite have a memory wisp on standby. Ugh, I am cool old. What's up, Jill? Hi. Do you know how I got here? I'm I I'm not where I should be. Please, I was told that you could help me. My family. They aren't my family. I, I don't know what's happened. Uh, please tell me how to get back to my family. Please, how old? This just sounds like a memory wisp, right? Like she doesn't know where she is. She doesn't remember her family. Inability to remember faces of loved ones. Reckless activity. I think it might just be a memory wisp. Yeah, speaking of memory wisp, right? Neighbor's doors, do you think? Neighbor's doorway. It causes confusion. Hmm. No, I because it says, like, I feel like they'd mentioned the doorway. Because, like, perceived missing memories in the human who comes to the other side, altered behavior. But it's not like, I stepped through this thing and now I don't remember. I, th I think it's memory wisp. It could be neighbor's door, but, like... My family, they aren't my family. I don't know what has happened. How to get how do I get back to my family? Hmm. Hmm. So 
She's not where she's supposed to be. Yeah, I guess it could be a neighbor. Yeah, I think you guys are right. It's probably a neighbor's doorway. Trisha, calm down. It's a puzzle game that we're doing together. Don't be like that. We'll try neighbor's doorway. It also, uh, meta meta gaming for a second, it makes more sense for it to be neighbor's doorway because it's a new thing. It doesn't always have to be a new thing, but it is a new thing, so it's. I feel like it's more likely. You're good, Trisha. This is just a gentle reminder. Claire. All right, Claire. I've I've got bad news for you, Claire. That that pile of crap on your dining room table as you put it. Um I've got real bad news for you, Claire. You might have already fucked yourself over by insulting it, but you better get to eating. Cuz if you don't eat it, uh you might offend whoever left it for you. So I would uh get get out of bib, cause Claire, you're gonna be eating that rotten egg pile of shit on your table. Go partake in the Fae Feast. God, eating a whole pile of dry flour sounds like literal hell. I'm going to pull out my pedals because I'm getting cold. So I'm going to do a little exercise while we listen. Hey, yeah, Paul here. Um, hey, Paul. I'm not sure what to do anymore. Uh, my kids can't sleep at night. I've been spraying about 50 different kinds of pesticides all over the place, washed and scrubbed all the bed sheets as much as freaking possible. And every night it's the same story. Bunch of itchy kids with nightmares waking up at 4 a.m. and begging to sleep in Papa's bed. I'm... Fresh out of ideas. Itchy kids with nightmares Please is interesting. Because immediately I was like, oh, it's bed bugs. <laughs> It'd be really funny. If it's bed bugs. But. Nightmares is interesting. Does the bed hack make you itchy? No. It could be. Um, Does a dream weaver make you? No, it doesn't mention itchiness. Nightmares are a red herring. Nightmares could be a red herring. But I feel like itchiness and nightmares together is a combination. So let's just double check while we're here. Bed teeth didn't give you nightmares, did it? No. It might just be bed bugs. Well, he's also been spraying pesticide. Wait, wait. Let's let's be smart about this. Bed bugs. Oh, resistance to pesticide. Okay. And different pesticides all over the place wouldn't help because they're resistant. That's also not a bed bug. Mm, it might just be bed bugs, which is really funny. This like deep in. I'm just going to say it's bed bugs. Like, 
It's just you wake up itchy in the middle of the night and pesticide isn't helping you. There's nothing that said itchy and nightmares. So the nightmares might just be from being itchy. Like, kids get nightmares. Yeah, it can't be the sh teeth because we washed the sheets. This might be a leprechaun. Okay. Hear me out. Heater is damaged. Metal. It mentions can cause direct harm to humans where met metallic medical implants such as braces, crowns of joint. He's a child crying in the background because their teeth hurt. I think that's a leprechaun. I think it's it, it, it stole the metal. It ate the metal off of its teeth, which is fucking crazy. So, Charles, listen. I think you have a leprechaun. And typically, you can just wait for it to eat all of the metal in your house and leave. But if your kid has braces, you should probably consider our pest control service to remove the leprechaun from your household for you. We'll be on our way. I really hate looking at this thing. Let's get to something cute. Oh, not yet. I think some pranksters may be giving my wife and I a run for our money. <sighs> Lately, my wife's clothes have started going missing, and at night I keep hearing this strange, whoopee cushion type sound coming from outside. I, I tried to scare the kids off by keeping the porch lights on at night putting out a neighborhood watch sign, but I, I think they're onto my tricks. Do you have any advice you can send me? Well, Edward, your, your issue is actually a lot easier than you think. Um, that's not a whoopee cushion. That is, in fact, a troll deflating itself to get into your home and steal your blankets. So, I've got a great news for you. Just either... You can just let it leave by morning uh, once it's secured its blankets. Or if you really do want to get rid of it, switch out those lights with some UV lights and it might prevent it from coming in later. But, hey, Edward, don't confront the thing. We're speeding through, chat. Speeding. I don't know how people in this community are still considering pranksters. Well, consider we got a British lady. I have a feeling we might just be like a worldwide service. Hello. Hi, Sheila. Why are you singing? Putting on my kettle for a bit of afternoon Earl Grey when I heard this awful buzzing sound coming from the cupboard. I looked around inside, but I couldn't find anything but a few loose tea leaves. I'm quite concerned about the hornets and the bees and the like because I'm, I'm quite allergic to their stings, you know. So I just wanted to know if there's anything I should be worried about right now. My hearing isn't what it used to be, after all. Well, Sheila, listen, uh, do not worry. It's a very straightforward issue you have there. That right there is a tea sprite, actually. Um, I, for the life of me, can't read what the issue, how to fix it, but, uh, just, you gotta trust me. Uh, it probably is, like, wait until it's gone or some shit. No, no, no. It was, uh, place any kind of trap. Just use a tea leaf as bait. You'll catch that thing right away. Um, here's my theory, chat. Bad employees are not turned into mice. Carol turns people into mice, and then the mice are the employees. I think we're already a smart mice. Because that please hold is a robotic voice. And all we're doing is listening and clicking, which is something a mouse can do. 
I think we're already a mouse. Calling it. Hi, hey, Christy. Christy, oh. here's the thing. Christy, I gotta level with you. Christy, Christy, Christy. Now, I can't look up uh, exactly what's going on, but um, you got a grown woman underneath your bed. That shortness of breath, that's that grown woman stealing your breath while you're asleep. Now, I know that sounds bad, Christy, but trust me, I am an expert. They're actually pretty good. Um, Mice aren't gonna move in. Not many bugs are gonna move in because they're scared of it. Uh, if you don't want it sitting on your chest and stealing your breath while you're asleep, you can offer, uh, we can offer our services to get rid of it for you, but you can just kind of leave it there and you'll be okay. Uh, that's up to you. I'll leave that in your hands. Good luck, Christy, with that grown woman under your bed. That's what. That's why Mike said go to the hole because we can fit in it. Exactly. The one thing about the theory that does fuck with this is we have a cat as like an office pet and presumably that would also attack us. So, uh, I've been Hi, Carla. I know exactly what this is, Carla, but hold on for a moment. I want to reread what the, how you, if I said that right. Yeah, okay, I said that right. Anyway, Carla, this is whistling fungi. Do not do not worry. Uh, actually, do worry. They're singing in harmony. You better get out of there. Not because it's going to hurt you, but there are foundational problems with your home now. Um, I keep... It's really interesting, right, with the lore of this game, where it's like, these mushrooms can hurt your foundation, but several times, if you hear whistling fungi singing in harmony, evacuate your home immediately. If whistling fungi ever sing in harmony, evacuate your home immediately and do not return for any reason. Like, it's not saying, like, oh, there's foundation you're worried about. It's saying, if they're singing in harmony, get the fuck out. There's something that has to do with the soil and the fungus of this game. Which is really interesting. I'd love to see a game theory on this game. I think that'd be really peak. Harmo Harmonious fungus blingus blongus. True. What's um, up, Rachel? Hello. up lately i can hardly blame him it, it smells so terribly rotten please can you help please hold. rachel i've got some bad news for you that's not meatball that's puka that smell in the background that's meatball puka isn't dangerous to you yeah we, we hey for the first time i get to say it let's call tom game theory and have him work on this one but uh i, I do have some bad news for you this is uh it's not gonna hurt you but it did already kill meatball so you're gonna want to find meatball and get rid of it and uh if you want the puka to leave just ignore it 
chat, I just had a very cursed image pop into my brain. Hold on. So I did this. What is, does m me in my toaster remind you of anything? Because for a moment, I, I, I saw the Matrix. I think I need to do a different face cam style. <laughs> Chat, we found the fifth G. <laughs> and the fucking mic stand is the goddamn rapper. <laughs> oh, this is really stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to change how this works. Oh, that's really funny. Um, I might have to change up how this looks. <laughs> you can clip on YouTube. That is something you could do. <laughs> I, I literally looked at myself like this and I was like, oh no. Oh, this can't be how I look. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, Rachel, your dog's dead. Good luck. Oh, don't remember there being a fourth one. It's new. It's from Legends Arceus. Uh, Samoth, yes. You're pulling... Wait, no, don't pull the lever on the side of the toaster. Wait! It'd be really funny. If we had channel point redeems, that would be a really, really good one. Just to be like, fucking... The channel point redeem is start the toaster. So again, this this is whoever this was was turned into a mouse by by uh what was her name? Carol. Cool. Oh. If you hadn't mentioned it, I don't think anyone would have noticed, but I noticed and I had to mention it. Well, let's see how close the thing on our de Oh, it stopped getting closer. It went to the soil. Entry browser. Oh, we can just browse the entries now? Interesting. Congratulations. We're happy to... We are happy to report that we are most pleased with your labors and are cons currently making all necessary preparations for your impending dissension. Assuming you pass the trial... The soil is fertile. Keep up the great work. And thanks for th th working through the weekend. What does that mean? Anyway, we can get a glamour stone. We can get a glamour stone. Whether you're simply too tired to concentrate, or if you have, if you just want to look your best without the stress, our glamour stones are here to put you at ease. With their patent patented protective seal, our glamour stones have a 99.9% .9 re reliability rating. Wham glam, thank you, ma'am. We only missed, um... We only missed one coupon code, which kind of sucks. I guess let's find out what the trial is. We're about to descend into the soil, chat. Thy trial hath begun. What does that mean? Ooh. 
please. Hold. We are many, we are above, we are followers of our queen. What are we? Would that not just be like carpenter ants? Because ants have a queen. I guess. Bees. Ooh, bees. You're so right. Bees. You're so right, it's bees. Showcase thy knowledge. So we're doing it purely off memory. All right, we got this chat. Well, they're carpenter ants, so they're above because they're in the walls. Showcase thy knowledge. Beyonce fans, true. I am not living yet, I clatter. I am small, I am weak. I serve my purpose, then I die. What am I? Please oh, this is an animation. I don't even have to click anything. It's an animation. We are descending down. Forge ahead. We're going we're we're descending into the soil. I'm gonna turn up the game a little bit because the ambience is really cool. I wanna make sure you guys can hear it. I am the beggar. I am the encroacher of the dry. I am friend to the water of the sky. What am I? Okay, so friend to rain. Encroacher of the dry. Please hold. Was there anything that just had to do with rain? There was rain nymphs. Yeah, no, because they are like actively trying to get inside. Rain nymph, rain. Yeah, okay, yeah, rain nymph. Got it, got it, got it. Right, because they're like on your window and they're like, hey, let me inside, let me inside, let me inside, because they want to be dry. No, you're so right. That's a rain nymph. Yep, okay. Press on, employee. Look, that's a failed employee behind us. <laughs> Harbinger of death, the bringer of pestilence, forever the nuisance. What am I? Bro, I don't know. A a mouse or a cockroach, possibly? Please hold. Because, like... I want to say maybe mouse. Housefly? I don't, I don't think it'd be a housefly. Everything brings death. Thing that started with a D? Was there something that started with a D? The Dorka? No. That doesn't sound like it. Flies, rats. Forever the nuisance does make me think fly, but bringer of pestilence and harbinger of death? Makes me think mouse? I'm gonna go with mouse. I could be wrong. I don't know. We'll find out. If I'm wrong, I guess we restart the night. This is a weird one. I'm gonna say mice. Right, we went deeper. I guess Mouse was right. All my life it's Housefly. I guess you're wrong, Groovebot. We went deeper. Rat mass? Yeah, it's the rat mass. It's the mass of rats. Where you glue a bunch of rats together. Step within, and they lose their way. Oh, this is just the... Uh, I know this one. Please hold. The, the closet thing? 
Closet Labyrinth. Notably, the things wearing hoods are a lot of the things we've talked about. Like, the last one looked like a bunch of... The last one looked like a bunch of leaves and, like, clovers and stuff. This one kind of looks like the troll. One of them looked like a hag. I think we're becoming one of these things. Rejoice in the hour of joy. Yo, I'm so excited for Pop Playtime Chapter 3. Expand that mind. Ooh, it's the leaves from the um, autumn vines. So we are under we're in the undersoil now. And there's clouds in the undersoil. We don't know if we're wrong until the end. Oh, great. Wait, if we're allowed to get one wrong, we're doing pretty good so far. We are companions of the gardens. We compel those who tread to tread no longer. I want to say... Please hold. It's the little aphid things. What are they called? seedlings right because they live in the garden and eat weeds but if you get rid of them they'll make you like kill yourself essentially seedling yeah the, the aphid guys yeah, yeah yeah i think it's seedling for sure seedling let go thy stilted soul This is so interesting. Notably, not so much on this side, and it doesn't matter because it's also blocked. If you notice, there's this like lens flare on the screen, which is extending past the 4-3 ratio. That's a mole. I am the dancer, I am the bringer of destruction. I consume the weak and the reckless. I am the forsaken oil and the careless light. What am I? Please hold. Bro, I do not know, what are you? Like part of me wants to be like Boggart because they're like, if you're careless, you create one. Is it just a house fire? Right? Like, Forsaken Oil and Careless Light would cause fire. Fires dance, you know? Like, is it just fire? Consume the weak and the reckless is strange. It might just be fire. Never kill a mole. Ooh, you're right. This was one of the things where it was like, um... I wonder... If all of these warlock things are stuff that the entry said not to fuck with. Right? Like I said, never kill a mole. Period. The whistling fungus descend. We're going deeper? Um. Oh, that was quick. Oh, that's just teeth. Ah, oh, we know who this is, guys. It's everybody's Please favorite, hold. Dorka. Dorka. I'm the, but like a lot of these, the teeth one doesn't ring a bell, but a lot of these were things that were like, because with the whistling fungus, it was like, if they sing in harmony, leave, don't come back. And one of these things was a bunch of mushrooms. So I wonder if all of these things talking to us are things that our list said don't fuck with. Dorka.
Oh, I hate that. Oh, weird. She's like a corpse bride thing. Oh, hold on. Let me move it over. We're not in 4-3 anymore, chat. What the hell? Oh, it's Carol. Hi, Carol. Please, be not afraid. Come be not afraid. Us. It's Carol. She's very pretty. Oh, I wouldn't trust this crown, my guy. I'm sorry, if a fay is giving me a crown with mushrooms and twigs, I'm not putting it on. Oh, the music. The term junior supervisor is very funny here. While we're in the woods, I gotta do something really funny. We're not in the woods anymore. I was gonna drag my, like, I was gonna just be like. <laughs> what a strange ending to this game. <laughs> this game's sick. This is awesome. What a strange fucking end. What I do want to do is do that again, but purposely get it wrong. Oh, art book. I'm Nick Lives, the creator of Home Safety Hotline. If you're reading this, hopefully it means you're invested enough in this game to be curious about its development. Oh, cool. Yeah. No, I'd love to see. Peek into the game's art development process and all the human messiness that it entails. Hope you enjoyed this thorough and admittedly indulgent look into what making this game was like. I'm, I, I'm not going to read all of this out. There's 30 pages worth. I'm just going to kind of flip through. Um, if you want to read it, go buy the game and beat it yourself. So, yeah, there's a lot of themes of, like, new magic. Um... Like, I, I totally see, like, flipping through a bestiary. around so is it oh hey this hop photo was the first monster design hob Yeah, the, you can definitely feel the Fey influences. It's very Fey leading, which is awesome.
Why did I do this to myself? With drawing monsters, frequently I find myself having to paint the entire monster in order to get a certain pose and feel accurate, before racing parts later to hide them before furniture and stuff. And of course, they'd be crushed into tiny pixels by the end. Less, or, less is more, after all. I still had to draw them more to get there. That's fair. Like, had to make this, then Photoshop out this stuff, and then crunch it down. That makes sense. Right, because, like, this isn't compelling, but the version we see in-game is. I'm scared by a lot of stupid, silly things. As such, both humor and horror can feel like one and the same sometimes. Yeah, very true. Comedy, there's a reason comedy horror is such a popular category. Stories about the puka who pretends to be a horse just to buck people around to scare them for a laugh, though the indoor modern equivalent might be. This is the result, and it might be my proudest artic artistic achievement. It's very funny. Oh, now that it's not crunchy, I see it's like a gnome relaxing and sitting that way. The gnomes in particular may have suffered the most from the reduction in image fidelity when compared to their paintings. So here they are in their higher definition glory. Check them out. Check out the little them little guys. The Spriggan by far may be the hardest creature to spot. All throughout development, I've asked playtesters to try to find the Spriggan. No one has found the Spriggan. I could consider this a failure on my part, but I l instead left it as is in the final product. No, I saw that. Yeah, it was that like green little guy outside the window. Troll is another creature I painted in far more detail before blurring him to hell and back. Here he is in all his wrinkly deflated glory for your viewing pleasure. Bogging around. Hey, it's the Bogart. Most traditionally spooky creature I've designed. It is uncanny human-like face, long slender figure. They're sort of the forefathers of the modern-day boogeyman. Interesting. It seemed only fitting to make the bogger. So a lot of this is based on like traditional fae and folklore stories, which is really cool. Oh, the scruffy fellow! Look at this little guy. Oscar the Grouch, but worse. Someone in chat called out like this is just Oscar. Muppety creature with a large mouth that lives in trash. Yeah, no, that's super fun. The source photograph for entries, I would browse free, use CCO photograph li photography libraries, photos that look like they would be perfect for photoshopping a monster. On occasion, I would stumble upon a photograph that was so intriguing, on its own, I would be instructed to write an entry as is. Oh, and here's the unaltered version of the photo. Interesting. Hidden in plain sight. Making people question ordinary objects as a whole, both quite funny and creepy, and something these fans suggested Soap Sprite and Laundry Gnome exhibit quite well. Oh, I didn't notice the hands on the Laundry Gnome earlier. That's fun. Sprightly little fellows. Designs for the sprites were intended to be a mix between mosquitoes and more traditional fairy designs. No, I see. I like that a lot. Era Wizard. The Warlock Remnant is, in fact, an edited photograph of me... Wearing a Halloween mask from my childhood along with a cheap vampire costume. Felt cute, my delete later. Oh, this is a real photograph that was then edited. That's really funny. Concept of coupons came after I received feedback. Demo players asked for more motivation for playing the game well. Since playing the game poorly would not net you more interesting content in the form of... Oh, since playing the game poorly would net you more interesting content in the form of consequence calls. We, that's content. It's 2.30 in the morning, so I'm going to bed very soon. Um, so we're not doing this tonight, but go buy this game and do that. That's so cool that there's, like, you get consequence cons for being bad. Pointless employee discounts for products would be funny yet lore-heavy content with high-scoring incentives. Basically, look at the product. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ratty end. The, originally, the game over screen was much simpler, with Carol firing the player and wiping their memory. After the promotion ending was written, a little more whimsical for the game over to better suit the world. Uh, with game, uh, Car Carol should turn the player into a mouse. We were right. Let's go, chat. In the morning of the shoot, I modeled these props from the air drying clay, painted them with acrylic. David, we're gonna we're gonna find this image before we're done tonight. Riddle me this: Which of the players received the promotion at the end of their shift on Saturday? It felt too abrupt to go from otherwise normal to this. Then the final trial day came out with all the database of information. The game's ending was written in order for music to be composed early on, the crude animated storyboard was created. The animatic and music would later serve to guide the pacing for the actual shoot, with David shouting out the appropriate cues as we filmed. The promotion crown was a unique prop I hot glued together out of various craft store materials, including a small wreath, little curvy sticks, and fake mushrooms. 
Given the player is only getting their first promotion, the materials involved are all more crude and common than more lavish crowns that Faye Carol wears. Faye Carol's makeup. This serving. This is so cool. In addition to playing the role of Carol, Courtney also designed the final makeup and costume look for Faye Carol in the game's ending cutscene, depicting Carol in her truer, more ancient form. In Courtney's own words, I want to look like proper Swamp Witch. True. Oh, hey, we got an achievement for reading through the art book. Faye Carol's costume was also pieced together by Courtney herself, utilizing stress netting, faux moss, stressed black skirt, and finally topping it off with a crown fashion from faux twigs and leaves. Nifty. Let's get the bad ending. Let's get a game over. Called out doll, I'm so validated. Fair. Faye Carol is a queen. True. Let's get turned into a rat and call it a day. Oh, I forgot that I turned it up when we had that banger playing. All right, let's fail a trial, chat. I'm just going to answer animation for everything. This is a really cool game. Um, <clears throat> It's the kind of game that makes me want to, like, replay it and get, like, consequence calls and stuff. I assume what you get is random. Maybe not. Please hold. Um, are the calls you get in the previous nights random? Because, like, this is probably going to be the same riddles. You can only make so many riddles. Are the previous nights random or not? Because that, that will be a little bit of a knock. If it's the same answer every time, that really does hurt, like, going back and playing it again. Which I guess would make it more of, like, an, an experience. Please hold. That is an animation, so let's make it bees. They are never random? That, I wish they were random, but I mean, I guess to make a more cohesive narrative experience, it's hard to balance that. And I guess it would be hard to get consequence calls if they were random, that's fair. I am tired. Yeah, I. This was really solid. Please hold. So, is this this dev's team like first game? Where did this come from? Night Signal Entertainment. Interesting, so Night Signal was like an earlier game made by this team. So they have one previous game I can find on Steam. They have one previous game I can find on Steam. Please hold. So, I mean, if this really is their second game, that's super solid for a second game. Please 
Also harder to program, true. Super fair. What happened to Mike? I think we're... I think what happened to Mike is about to happen to us. Please hold... Please hold. <laughs> Eric Tova. I love the idea of these ancient immortal fake creatures needing to listen to hold music to solve the riddle. <laughs> That's really funny, actually. <sighs> Please hold. It's bed teeth. Something about the phrase bed teeth is just very funny to me. Uh, the one who delivers? Oh, clearly. It's bed teeth. Alright, let's see what Carol has to say to us. Oh, her eyes are gone. Here. We've been watching you for some time, and I must say that we have been rather disappointed in your performance here. Many of our callers' lives have been altered for the worse thanks to your negligent answers. Your failure to treat your work here with the gravity it deserves has unfortunately forced us to make a very difficult choice in regards to your continued employment at HSH. Effective immediately, your employment here has been terminated. We wish you the best in your future endeavors. Man, chat, we got fired. <laughs> That's really funny, actually. Just, oh, oh, oh. oh. Yeah, you are unemployed. That's fun. Tower a mouse. Smart mouse, smart mouse, smart mouse. Rats, rats, fear the rats. Oh, new art book's up? Or is it just saying that's here? Cool. This is really cool. Uh, well. Chat. life improved true uh this has been fun uh, we did two streams today and it's 2 30 in the morning so god damn it <laughs> there's so much work i have to do the video is like not even halfway edited um expect the video probably saturday night or sunday morning uh it will be on into the pit obviously and it'll also contain the proper announcement for um the friday charity stream so other than that Monday, Cult of the Lamb on the second channel. Make sure you subscribe to Right Toost. Uh, excuse me. And Tuesday, Poppy Playtime Chapter 3. So, until then, have a good night.
and stay toasty. I should make a reverse version of the because I've got this transition where it like closes the it like that. I should have a reverse one. Because it works this way. I should do one where it goes the other way. That would be actually heat. Because then I could like close the door and you walk out. I'll work on that. Until then. Bye guys. <laughs> Thanks all for hanging out. It's been a very